I survived 100 days on a raft in hardcore Minecraft. I'm stuck in the middle of an ocean with nothing but a fishing rod and some floating debris. Not only that, but this ocean is full of sharks, pirates, and other dangerous creatures that I don't want to run into. My mission is to survive, build out a beautiful raft, and hopefully create a little villager civilization. This is one of the most entertaining 100 days I've ever done. So without further ado, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snack, Snacks and enjoy as I try to survive 100 days on a raft in a hardcore Minecraft. Okay, here we are. We are stranded on a raft surrounded by absolutely nothing, which is uh, not very good. But we did start off with just a fishing rod and we have items that uh, spawn in and float around us, which is helpful because we can drag them in. So thank you very much. I'll take these leaves, even though they're almost nothing. I need them. I also see something in the distance over there. Ooh, here we go. Here's a crate. And these should already have items inside of them. Look at that. We already got some iron and potatoes. That's actually a really good start. We also got a spruce sapling. Yeah, we're gonna want to stay above the water as much as we can because I don't know what's lurking down here. There can be some sharks, but it appears items have stopped floating around us for now. So for the time being, I'll just regularly fish and hopefully we can get something. Oh, here we go. First catch. Oh, we got a red grouper. If we can get some more of these crates, that would be amazing. What is over there? Oh my goodness. I don't think that's friendly. We're going to stay away from that. And we got a bunch of oak leaves, which are actually good for saplings. Whoa. Ooh, jellyfish. Oh, you can brew it into a poison potion. Makes sense. Or you can cook it into a slime ball. So that might actually come in handy. Oh, driftwood. What can you do with that? Oh, four oak planks. Ooh, there's another barrel. Boom. And we have a lot of saplings. What I'll actually do is just extend it out in one line so that we can kind of place more down. Oh, look at this beautiful sunrise. Or rather, sunset. That's what it is. It is officially nighttime. And I did get a piece of coal, which is pretty nice because that means we can light our little raft up. Thank you very much. And there's more string. We're working our way towards getting a bed. I'm at nine already. Is that a shark? Oh, no. See, this is why I really didn't want it to become nighttime. <gasps> oh, another barrel. Oh, yeah. Make a bed. Oh, but I need a crafting table. And oh, oh, my goodness. That scared me. Okay, give me that. And we should definitely be able to make a bed now. Bam. And with that, I can sleep off the first night. It's a new day and we are very much so surviving and thriving. Okay, wait, you know what? Now that we have a lot of wood, let's make a boat. And that way we can collect these items on the outskirts without being in too much danger. And our trees are starting to grow very nicely. So much so that we can start making tools. Oh, and there's another barrel. Very nice. Another barrel. Getting a lot of barrels this day. Thank you very much. Come here. Oh, no, don't go. Oh, no. Where'd that go? We're not doing a great job of limiting our trips into the water, are we? Ooh. And our acacia tree grew. Oh, I guess there's a mod that lets us just chop it all down in one shot. Let's turn all of those into slabs and we can start to really extend out our platform. <laughs> We've extended it out one block. Now I'd really like to make a furnace, which I actually have enough cobblestone to do. So that's perfect. Bam. And we can start cooking up a ton of things, including food and ores. Whoa, is that a fly fish? Is that what it is? Oh, that's so cool. I had no idea what they looked like before. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I got a water bottle. Oh, how did I get nine coal? Did I already have that? I don't know. Either way, give me that tree. And we have a lot more dirt than I thought we did. So we can definitely start extending out a platform like so. And we can grow a bunch of trees. And uh, the second night is here. So we're going to sleep that off really quickly. These 
these barrels just have so much loot. Okay, now we have a lot of ways in which we can start expanding our raft. And uh, I don't know what the best way is. I guess uh, there really is no best way. So I'll just start doing something. I will keep farming the spruce trees, but actually we should start growing oak as well because I think using the two together could be nice. And we can add another layer and this one will go all the way beside our tree farm. Food's starting to become a sort of an issue. Obviously I have a lot of food, but it would be nice if we can get some food farms going. Hmm, and let's see, how would we want to do that? Well, we could start building a farm out in this direction for potatoes, and that's going to require more dirt. So hopefully we can get some more barrels and just dirt itself. Also, for iron ingots, I'm making a set of iron boots. You know, we need some type of armor. Oh, and another tree grew right above me. Yeah, these trees are starting to invade our space a lot. And you know what? For the sake of uh, not hurting our eyes too much, let's change these jungle planks into some spruce ones. And I think that's going to make uh, the base look a little bit nicer. And there's another crate or barrel. I keep calling them crates for some reason. Oh, this one had a lot of dirt in it. Beautiful. We're starting to extend in this way as well. And we will continue our oak planks. There we go. What is that, dude? Oh my god. So that's why we just don't go in the water. And I just feel like I'm being attacked from all angles. I don't feel safe. It's not great, you know? I mean, I guess the good news is I'm getting these random items delivered to me, which makes my life a lot easier. I'm not sure if keeping some of the items out here reduces the amount of items that can spawn because I do want to make sure I'm getting as many of the barrels as possible. I've got to tell you though, our raft is really starting to come along. I should also start to grow our crops and there's another night. We shall plant our potatoes and wow, our spruce trees are now starting to grow. Beautiful. <laughs> That means we got a bunch more wood and I do think we should start building out. And here's what we'll do. We're gonna add another layer around this with spruce. And I left a little bit of space for some more dirt to expand with. And on this side, we still have a good amount of expanding to do. So I left that completely open. And I'm not sure exactly how I want to extend this out. I figure we kind of need to figure it out as we go. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to create a circular part over here. And that should be easy enough. Whoa, what happened over here? Oh my goodness. There was definitely a shark or something around here. Holy moly, dude. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Here we go, all done. But yeah, glass, that would be really nice to have for this build. I could just try to get that sand, for example, but we're definitely gonna do that during the day, not during the night. Let's try to make some iron leggings before I do anything at least. Oh, and you know what? I can use these iron nuggets that I've been getting. Four more iron ingots, that's awesome. And I'll use at least one of those to make a shovel. And then the other three for an ax, probably just because of how much I've been having to use an ax. And I'm gonna make another furnace so that we can smelt some more food. There we go, iron leggings. And there's not really any great way of doing this, but let's try, oh my goodness, dude. Let's try and get some sand. Oh boy, oh no, no, no. We're also running out of water, breath. Oh goodness, okay. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Let's try to get as much as we can. There's another barrel. Wonder if these barrels upgrade as the days go by at all. I don't know if I've noticed any upgrades. Yeah, it seems like they're about the same. I'd love to add some kind of border around everything as well. I think uh, we can use fences and I guess I'm just gonna rinse and repeat this for a little bit. And 
Good old glass. Okay, I've gotten 34 glass, and I've also added a mod that makes it so that you can create glass slabs, which would save me a lot of trouble, to be honest. But I need a glass cutter to do so, which requires a diamond. So yeah, I can't do it yet, unfortunately. However, with the limited amount of glass that we do have, we can still add some design, and that is already looking beautiful. It would also be really nice if we could add a little bit of a glass circle here. There we go. And I'm thinking this can become our new main area. We should kind of move our things over. Bam, chests. There we go. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. We can also add glass over here. Oh, and we need more, but <laughs> I'm gonna sleep first. Sharks are getting closer and closer, I feel like. I don't know what's going on, but I don't really like it, I gotta tell you. Boom, and we have glassified our raft. Looking good. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we will be able to find any islands. I'm gonna swim out here very carefully, but I wanna try to see if we can find anything useful to us. Oh, we got a temple over there with the barrel on top, actually. I don't think this is like a ocean monument though. Oh, ruined vanilla temple, okay. Interesting. So it's kind of safe. I do. Oh, hold on. Let me break that spawner. Come on, break. Break. Oh, oh my goodness. This is taking forever to break. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, not good. Not good at all. Hello, drowned. Good thing I came here during the day. I'm gonna take you out, fella. Good guy. All right. And. Ooh, we got a diamond, emerald, iron. Wait, this is actually perfect for us because I needed a diamond for the glass cutter and this will very much help us out. I don't know if we wanna push our luck and look any further into this place, if there even is anything. Ooh, there is. Ooh, okay, we got another diamond, melon seeds. That's beautiful, beetroot seeds. Okay, let's leave. You know, it's almost nighttime. I did not bring my bed with me and I don't wanna risk anything. Where's my boat? My beautiful boat, okay. Let's head back home. Ah, I'm back. Okay. Now, can I make this glass cutter is the question. Stone. Oh, I need stone. And I'm curious as to what's over there. We should definitely check that out. Boom. Three stone and glass cutter. Perfect, so now if I place that down and put glass in, boom, we can make glass slabs. We can also make glass stairs and glass bottles. So that is awesome. Kind of want to extend the glass going through to here. And ooh, well, the connection on these slabs isn't too seamless. I've got to tell you the truth. Um, well then, I guess that's, uh, that's the price you have to pay when you try to get glass for cheaper. So here's what I can do. Not ideal, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I guess here, because I've already used regular glass, we're just gonna have to stick with that theme. And then in other places, we can use these glass slabs maybe. I'm sure they'll still come in handy. Yeah, but that looks a lot better. We can also make a shield, which would be a great addition to our defenses. And I would like to quickly swim out and see what is over at that structure that we saw. Where is it? This way, here we go. What, what are these? <gasps> What are these? Oh, they have scuba helmets. I don't know if killing them will give me a scuba helmet, but I know that there's scuba gear, which if I get, it'll help me out a lot. Hello. Yep, you're gone. Where's the other one? All right, did they have any loot here? Strange little structure. It does have sand that's easy for us to get. Ooh, and a chest. <laughs> with a fishing rod with Curse of Vanishing. That's not very helpful to the cause. <laughs> this is literally the most collectible sand we've seen in the whole uh, 100 days so far. Back onto the raft we go. There you are, there you are. And there we go, that's filled in. I'm not sure how I can make this transition look nicer. Kinda have an arrow there right now, which is a bit weird, um, but 
It's all right. Okay, well, I figure we should try and do some more adventuring just because it's been giving us some pretty good stuff and hasn't been too, too dangerous. So let us see what we can find. Let's see. Okay, what are we gonna find? Oh. Oh, I see a ship. Um, I don't know what's... Oh my goodness, and that is a shark and some other creatures. Oh, okay. These are possibly fightable because they all seem to be melee. Oh, except that skeleton is not. Oh, and that... Okay, zombie wants a piece of meal right away. Oh, they're all... Okay, undead sailor. Oh boy, okay. We gotta be careful. Oh, there's a drowned uh, chasing me and there's another undead sailor. They're not doing too much damage. Oh, is that a baby drowned? Oh no. Okay, thank you. And... Ow. Oh, grab, grab, grab. Ow, that actually hurt way more than I thought it would. These are probably useful to pick up, aren't they? Actually, if we shift on these while mining blocks, they will be pretty helpful, right? These ones... Oh, yep, there we go. There they go. There they go. Take you out. Ow. Okay, you do some damage, but we gotcha. Oh, here we go. I don't know if there's a spawner here or what. Dead sailor, come here, buddy. And you know what? I'm just gonna make my way in through the bottom. Ooh, I got boots, but I already had some. Okay, two iron axes, instant damage, gunpowder, some good stuff here. I'll take these books for sure. And let's see. I hear a spider. Multiple spiders, huh? Dead, dead. Loyalty two, distance two. Interesting. And I'm just gonna grab everything I can get my hands on because we're not exactly the most rich. Quick charge. Oh, iron swords. I'll take those. And fish, that's good too. Oh my goodness, why did so many sharks spawn? Okay, well, it's definitely a good time to head back. And it looks like there's another building over here. Oh, I'm greedy, aren't I? Let's quickly check it out. Okay, here we go, chest. Okay, coal, emerald, um, da, 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 da. Okay, good. Look, look how close that is. Which way do I have to go? I think it's this way. Oh, there's another mob. No, thank you. Home sweet raft. Oh, it feels good to be back. And there was a barrel here. Thank you. Uh-oh. This one is way too close for comfort. Hey, get away from my raft. Okay, now I figure that the next best thing to do, which might not be optimal, but uh, I'd like to do it, is to go mining underground for just a little bit. Then we can head back here and work on extending our base some more. Also, we are definitely going to sleep off the night once more. Uh, I'm gonna just go straight under our base. And we should be careful with how we break down here. I don't wanna fall straight into a cave and die. Thank you very much. Got coal, which uh, I don't mind finding at all. Oh, here we go. And we got something here. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a full cave. Oh, okay. We're good. A lot of coal down here. Ooh, iron. Here we go. That's what we want. And redstone as well, which I don't know. Maybe that'll come in handy. I actually do wonder if we can make use of that to create some nice contraptions on our raft. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, and diamonds. That was actually really fast. I've barely been mining at all, and I already found diamonds. That's very nice. Oh, only thing is, I only have two baked potatoes left. Um, that's an issue. That is definitely an issue. Lapis. Oh, you scared me, sir. Don't appreciate that at all. Oh. Good. Oh, and I think that's the first creeper I've seen. I hate creepers. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, well, that's my last baked potato, which definitely means it's time to go back up to the surface. Oh, nice, we're already up to the surface, perfect. Okay, let's see. Now, if we really wanna extend out our raft, I need more dirt. Has this finally grown? Oh, it has. Oh, nice. I wonder if it's uh, possible to get some animals on here at all. I don't know if we can find any anywhere. It would really be great if we could. The potato farm is done, and now we can transition into working on our carrot farm. That is where we're gonna need more dirt. So what's the best way to get dirt? Underground is definitely an option, and same with adventuring. Let's see if there's any dirt over in this area where it was easy to get sand. Mm -mm -mm. No, nothing here. Okay, let's head down and hopefully we can find some dirt underground. Oh, yep. In fact, 
<laughs> we mined right past it before. Oh, goodbye shovel. Okay, beautiful. We just got a bunch of dirt, almost two stacks. That is exactly what I was looking for. So let's get back to work. Floating island, place 100 dirt. I have definitely done that. There we go, carrot farm is starting. I will also add to our tree farm and I should probably extend this one a bit as well. And I think the next big thing that I'd like to work on is a mob farm which we're gonna need a lot of building blocks for. And right now the easiest block to get is definitely wood, just because that's really the only one we can automatically get on a raft. So the best thing that I can do is chop down wood first of all, but second of all, it would probably be a good idea to extend it out even more than I have. Quite small right now, if I'm being honest. And I'm thinking we can extend it out this way. So I'll just break some of this and we are going to extend it out. Look at that. That is a beautiful animal right there. Hello, I'm not gonna kill you, buddy. We just need a little bit more dirt. Come on, we, we've gotta have some. Nope, I don't I don't think we do. Oh, hello, shark. Yep, uh, I see yeah, I see why there's floating fish there. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Well, the shark's gone now, so we'll just take what it left behind. <gasps> okay. Alrighty. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I thought it was gone. I'm pretty sure they have something with how they see, right? They can't just see you directly. So, I mean, I guess I'm safe. First of all, let's make the rest of the gear we need. Boom, boom. Okay, it seems like this fish is aggressive because it's trying to attack me. What the heck, man? I need to go back down for some more dirt once more. Well, I found redstone, not dirt though. I'm at Y11 at this point, so I guess I might as well start strip mining. I don't know what else to do. I'll kill two birds with one stone, I guess. Here's lava, which usually is a good sign. Not in this case though. <gasps> dirt, I've never been so happy to find dirt in my life. There is a very good amount of dirt here, which I'm gladly taking all at once. We're up to two and a half stacks now. That's a solid three stacks. Oh, and I just realized my audio was broken for the first little bit there, but it is what it is. Oh, and just like my shovel, I guess. Aha. We got more than enough dirt to finish this up. Sharks are going ham around our base. Like, look at this guy. Oh my God, is he trying to swoop up at us or fish? Cause that looked like it was trying to get us. I think it's a hundred percent trying to get to us. There's no way it's not. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is terrifying. There are a lot of sharks down here too, which is not ideal. Oh, and they're fighting each other too. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't want to mess with that. Okay, the tree farming's going great, I would say. It is time to extend our raft here. Okay, for the mob farm, I'm thinking we can just extend this way. Now, we will continue using glass for the pathway here, just like so. And in that case, we should probably just connect this over. There we go, sleep off the night. Okay, and we will make another circle here. And for this one, maybe we can do the outer layer with glass and then we'll still fill it in with solid blocks. Do however need more sand again. So let's go to the same place as before. Hello, old friend. It's, it's sad I'm making a location, my friend, at this point just because I have no one to talk to. Now, I can 
finish filling in this border. Bam. And I don't know how this is gonna end up looking, but the plan is now to fill the rest in with oak slabs. Not bad, not bad. And then for the spawner, it is gonna be a little bit uneven, but it is what it is. We'll have them land right here. And for this to work, we're gonna need chests here, actually. Place them like, uh-oh, why are they still underwater? I don't know, but that's fine. And then we need hoppers on top of them. On top of those, we will place slabs. Before I finish up with that, let me sleep off the night and I can start working on the design for this. Okay, there's the hoppers. And now we gotta build this up 20 more blocks. Now we build out eight total on each side. Ooh, look at that thing. Is that friendly? That might just be a friendly little dolphin is what it is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Is that a shark or a dolphin? Looks like a dolphin. I don't know, man. And now I just have to build up a two wide wall and it's nighttime, but I've tried to make sure to light everything up so that nothing starts spawning randomly. But I hope that's what's gonna happen. And now I should just be able to use slabs in order to fill in these quadrants. There we go. And now we build up another wall. But before doing that, I'm gonna quickly grab torches and sleep off the night. Okay, and with that, the mob farm should be done. I'm hoping I did it correctly. Now, it's a bad sign that I'm not seeing any mobs spawning. It's a very bad sign, uh, I've gotta be honest with you. Maybe if we're far enough, they'll start spawning. I'm hoping. Oh, of course, oh my goodness. I forgot to put water buckets in there. That explains it. So that means I need to get water buckets. And I don't have any buckets, actually. Mm-hmm, okay, so we could go mining or we could go adventuring to get some iron. We should try to adventure real quick just because I'm still curious as to how many things we can find out here. So let's go on what should be a quick trip and one that doesn't get stopped by sharks. That'd be, that'd be nice too. Ooh, here we go, we got a ship. And what is on this ship is the question. Ooh, pillagers. Okay, uh, I don't know how much damage these fellas are gonna do to me. So we've gotta really look out. Maybe we can try to break in here. Mm, okay, this is dangerous. Uh, not only because of the pirates, but because of... Uh, of sea creatures that could try to attack me while I'm doing this, but hey, you know what? If I don't try, I won't know. So let's try. Break in. And these trapdoors actually work out perfect for us. You're gone. Oh, they still spawn even with the lighting. Okay. You know what? Hold on. Let me just break this. I don't even think that's what was spawning them, to be honest. Okay, hold on. A little, little break, little break. Now, they're not attacking each other, which is interesting to me. Ow. They were ready. Wow. Got you, too. Cool. And I don't think we should focus on looting just yet because, yeah, I don't like what's going on in here. Let's go. Gotcha. I hear a lot of zombies, I guess, above us, but it seems like we've cleared out. Oh, boy. I was going to say we've cleared out most of what's here, but I don't know if we have. Probably want to set up some sort of a trap to kill them, but let's see what's in this chest first, maybe, or barrel. Nope, nothing crazy. Uh-huh. Okay. XP bottle, emerald, TNT might be okay to grab as well. Yeah, they're kind of trapped over here if I can get some hits on them. Oh, yeah. He fell in, and you're gone. If we can get some some of these guys to fall in, they are done for. Oh, wow. There's another layer below me. Okay, that explains the zombies. I think we should do the top layer before that, though. So let's try our best here. And you know what I should do is break that ladder. And now they just fully get stuck. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 
Come in, come all, come in. I don't know if there's a spawner for them, but I hope there isn't, because I don't want to have to break one. You're gone. You're gone. And it would seem that they're slowing down on their spawns. Let's see what's what's going on up here. Mm-hmm. Seems mostly safe, actually. And we've got a lot of hay, which is great for us. I wish there were seeds. I hope I can find some. Ow. Random skeleton in the corner. Okay. Chest with barrels. Do these each have loot? No. Just empty barrels, I guess. Oh, wait. There's seeds in here. That's just what I wanted. Okay, perfect. And some basic stuff. Paper could be good. Empty maps. Do, do, do. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we'll be able to get villagers onto our raft. I don't know how yet, but if we'll be able to do that. Oh my goodness, we're going to be able to get anything we want. Diamond, that's great. I will gladly take that. And now, all that's left is this layer below us, which does seem, oh boy, does seem pretty intimidating. I've got, I've got to be honest with you. Let's see here. Hello. Oh my goodness. Dude, no way. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, we're going to take him out slowly. I'm making a bunch of bread from the hay bales here because I really need it right now. Okay, back to what we were doing. Uh-oh, nighttime is coming. Um, that is really bad, actually. We gotta hurry this up. Is there any better way down? There really isn't. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna mine into the bottom from here. Oh, you can't even mine it unless you're in the water. Okay, ooh, this is uh, pretty secured. Gotta be honest with you. Okay, here we go. Here's a step up. That's messing with them. Even though they're not stepping up on it, it is messing with them. Here, come here, folks. Perfect. Mobs are gonna start spawning above me. Um. Oh boy, okay. Creeper. Oh, I can't see anything, but break that. Okay, bats are scaring me. Okay, creeper down. It's a bunch of little rooms. <laughs> oh my goodness. That spider looked scary for a second, okay. I cannot see. I don't see any spawners, though. I think we have cleared out the area. Ooh, diamonds. That's good. Torches are good. Melon seeds. I don't know if I've gotten any, so that could be very good. Ooh, okay. Cookie, iron. Instead of getting hay, I should just leave. Problem is, I don't know how I'm going to leave without risking my life, so... Guess you'll learn how to do everything when your life depends on it. Okay, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Go, go, go. Oh, no, not this way. Other way. Go. And we are out of there. Safe and sound. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sleep off the night. Thank you. Now I'm just going to dump off all of the loot that we got. And let's head right on back. Oh, before that, though, let me make a hoe so I can get a bunch of hay bales quickly. And we're back. Oh, how many mobs spawn down here? Not a lot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Give me all of this. Oh, and there's some hidden gold. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a bunch of mobs spawn down here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, just not the creeper, man. I hate creepers. Okay, go away. Go away. And that spider just turned around and said, nope. All right. You're gone. You're gone. And we're good. Doesn't seem like there really is some hay, but that's it. Oh, and there's random water. <laughs> yep, that's all. All right, 48 hay bales. That's definitely good enough. And we can uh, head back out. We got the iron that we needed for the water buckets, so we can finish our mob farm. water. Oop. Why did that place so weird? Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I hope that gets fixed. Okay. Now we have to do a pretty dangerous thing, which is placing water while there's definitely monsters inside. <laughs> um, yeah, this is actually very dangerous. And the main difficulty is going to be the fact that I can very easily get knocked right off. Uh, hello. Yeah. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, I got wood. Let's go up again. Oh, and... Oh my goodness, okay. I need to make an uh, infinite water source as well. This really is not ideal, I gotta tell ya. Okay, there we go. Boom, one. 
Boom, two. And we just got to do that three more times. So let's get on it. Boom. Okay. All done. And now the farm should be working just fine. I really hope that's the case. Let us grab everything here and break all this. And the moment of truth, it is working. I don't know. I hope it's working as efficiently as it can. We will see in the coming hours, rather in the coming seconds. Okay, let's sleep off the night first of all. And are you going to work? Are you going to do it? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's not necessarily bringing in mobs the whole time. Uh, uh oh. Okay, well, obviously we've got some type of a problem. I think I might just need to AFK all the way at the top. Oh, there's one skeleton. <laughs> um, so it works. It's just not very quickly right now. Oh, there's an, oh, there's another mob. I don't know. I don't know if anything's strange in here. Anyways, we'll let that be for a little bit. And if we really need to optimize it, we will do so. So that's done. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy with the fact that we finally finished that. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is build a kind of hut here in our center point. And for that, we'll need more wood, which you know what would be great to grow more wood? Bone meal. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, we got some bones coming out of here. And I already have a lot, I think. Yeah, 43. So we'll turn all of those into bone meal. And we can bone meal a bunch of spruce and oak. There we go. Not too shabby. That is all the trees chopped. Oh, all the trees chopped. We got a bunch of wood, so we can get to work on this. Now, how do we want to make this hut? I'm not sure yet. I think we'll just have to go with the flow, you know? And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to remove a good amount of this stuff. Okay, that's the corner so far. We'll just build these pillars up. We can add oak like so. Maybe even we can add barrels. Barrels look cool, but how do you make them? Oh, we can do barrels. Okay. There we go. Bunch of barrels. Add these as the walls. There we go. That's kind of looking nice. And then we can probably finish it off with a slab roof. I'm going to smelt up some stone to make stone bricks. Boom, some stone bricks. Turn these into slabs and let us make this roof. Oh, and uh, it's not even somehow um, fixed. There we go. And you know what? Let's add some torches on here just in case. Do not want mob spawning, no thank you. How is that looking? Um, You know, not bad. Should probably just strip the, oops, <laughs> strip these logs. Go. We'll add that. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. So there is our hut, which is debatable. It's a debatable hut. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a very debatable hut, but I think I know how to make it look a little bit better. And that would be with leaves because we can surround the roof with them. And before that, let me sleep off the night because it is dark. And our mob grinder has actually been working decently well throughout this time. I kind of like that it doesn't have too many mobs coming down because it would probably just lag my game out. So I'm, a, I'm kind of a fan. I'm kind of a fan. I'm just going to bone meal trees again. Oh, but this time we need the leaves before we actually break the trees. Do I have enough iron? Boom, shears. Probably going to need more than this in the future if we want to incorporate more leaves, but that's okay. Okay, let's see how this ends up looking here. There you go. It kind of adds. I think we should add some randomness just to spice things up. Yep. 
You know what? I'd say that we did all right. I'd say that it has a, a little bit of a charm to it. I kind of like it. It's a bit atypical. It's not the usual type of build, but uh, yeah, it kind of fits our raft pretty well. So we got the hut done. We got the mob farm done, which is beautiful. And I'm thinking next we should make a little bit of a house where we can put all of our storage and smelting. And for that, we're definitely going to need to clear up our path here. So we're gonna need to move these chests out of the way. We'll just put them over here. And there we go, all cleared. So I think I'd like to build a house in this direction. And I'm thinking that we can make a bridge to get over to the house. Now there actually is a mod that adds bridges in this pack that uh, I would like to see if we can use. We'll probably use oak. We need a bunch of fences and slabs. And then we can make oak bridges and we can make some oak bridge stairs as well. Might've went a bit overboard. But from here, let's see, look at that. We'll go a few or a couple more blocks up, but I think we might also wanna try to make some of that bridge support. Here we go, bridge support. And let's see what this would look like. I figure that we can shift to using normal bridges here. Whoops, we also need to make something called pliers. But I don't even think I have enough iron to do so. Yeah, I need more iron. Okay, um, in that case, I guess the best thing we can do is go mining really quickly. And I'll head over to this piece of land here just so that we get some new generation. Let us just mine straight down. Always an absolutely amazing idea. Oh, my tools are about to break. And I'm just gonna have to deal with using stone tools. Oh, and here we go, cave. Ooh, it's a mine shaft even. Oh. Okay. You know what, creeper? You can blow up. Oh, never mind. Now, mine shaft could present the opportunity to get some new items that I haven't gotten yet. Don't actually know what those are. And you know what? I really should just get some iron. I don't want to pay a mine with a stone pickaxe. Are you kidding me? It's already day 20. Oh my goodness. Holy mo- oh, well, you're all gone already. Oh, here's iron. And here is a mine shaft chest. Bomb. Uh, alrighty. Well, I'm gonna skip on that. There's gold. Actually, no, I'm not skipping on that because you know why? <laughs> Oh, that didn't work very well. All right, we're gonna forget that ever happened. More iron here. Oh, and also a creeper chasing me here. No, thank you. Oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. There's a lot of iron in here. I'm glad we find it, found a mine shaft. That's perfect. Okay, I'm smelting up iron while I'm down here just so I can upgrade the tools. And my inventory is also very, very full. Not ideal, not ideal. Here we go, coal. Ah, uh, yes, thank you very much. Two pickaxes, an axe, and a new sword. Bang. Back up to the surface. That was a good enough mining trip. Nothing crazy. I got myself probably around like 30 pieces of iron, but that'll last us. And I'm not very good with the fact that I'm currently swimming out in the open. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Bad way to get out. Um, seems like we're okay though. Okay, now we can make the pliers and these should let us open up ends of the bridge. It's not exactly working though. Hold on. I believe if I place it like this and then if I do this, I believe that should eventually let us do what we want. Yeah, there we go. Open it up and we can also open this side. Bam. We'll do that part in a moment though. I want to try adding another layer. There we go. Let's see if I can do this. Bam. And then if I open it up, yes, I can. So that lets us have a little bit of a curve in our bridge which is very nice. And then we will continue it along normally. 
kind of done it. Now let's see if I can, ooh, yes I can. Look at that, bam, we have a bridge. You know what, it's not like a perfect bridge, but it's a bridge, all right, we did it. Now let me break these extra blocks. And now we just need to figure out how we wanna build over here. Now I'm thinking we will start off with spruce slabs here and that can be the border of a circle and let's see if a 19 by 19 circle ends up being enough bam hmm no you know what i would want a much bigger platform bam all filled in and I'd say that's a pretty nice platform for our house. And we probably wanna use stone brick and cobblestone barrels, some spruce, and maybe oak for this build. My main concern would be the cobblestone because I don't have too much of it, but I guess we can start first just so we get an idea of what we want. This is the center block. So we should try to build around this. How would that look? Mm, a bit too far off to the side. That's more like it. I think we can work with this. And then here, and then we'll add an extension to here. Perfect. Stack this on like so. And then on the bottom layer, maybe we can use stripped logs. Strip all of these. Let's see if we can add some trap doors. I think these will be good additions. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be good, but I think we should raise the logs four total instead of three. And now we can add these. Bam. And then what we can also do is add buttons like so. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think we can then fill this in with spruce planks. And I'm making sure to leave spaces for the windows everywhere. And uh, it's gonna be important to have windows because look at this beautiful view. Imagine waking up to this. walls kind of laid out for the first layer. Let's add the glass and also the transition into the next layer, which I'll use stone bricks for. I'm gonna place the stairs like that all around. And I'm keeping some of these corners kind of sharp. I don't know why, but I feel like that kind of gives that fisherman feel. I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm just doing whatever floats the boat, you know? And Bam, so that is the second layer wrapping, and I think that actually fits. Now we can also fill in the windows. Bam, and to be honest, we could extend these a lot more. There we go, looking pretty good. Now for the next layer, I wanna try something strange and I wanna mix the spruce with oak for the fill-in layer. Don't know how it'll end up looking. I guess we will find out. Let's see, we're gonna do a staircase up. Bam. Okay, let's see. So we would go continue this. And I'm out of spruce wood, so yeah, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could go out to a forest and just chop wood normally right now. But no, now what is under my, I hear something. Oh, oh my goodness, it's that thing. What is that? A lobster crab type thing? I don't know, it's some underwater sea creature crawly thingy. Oh my goodness. I kinda wanna fight it, to be honest. Hold on, okay, this is a bad idea. But this is what happens when you get bored sitting on a raft all alone. Come here. Oh my goodness, this is a crazy chase. I'll save you, squid, or whatever you are. Oh my goodness, I'm getting dragged far out. This, this thing's fast, man. It's hard to catch up. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I kind of feel bad, but I mean, it looks scary and it's chasing something down. And I might've just helped it. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> this thing, whatever it is, is like invincible though. Oh, got it. And it didn't drop anything. What a waste. Okay, wait, let me kill this thing. It's only fair. I saved its life. Might as well kill it. Look at it camouflaging. Crazy. It's it's really hard to chase this thing down. I just don't have enough speed. I need like depth strider or something. Okay, I quit. Oh, 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 that really scared me. It poisoned me. Ow. It's like hitting me from under the slabs too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, wait, this is actually getting dangerous. Oh my God. Holy moly, dude, that thing gave me poison like two or three. Wow, Um, I know it's poison, so I, I mean, I was technically fine. Look at it, look at the perpetrator just, Ugh. another day. Okay, back to work, back to work. Okay, you know what? I think it's kind of working, but for the sake of keeping all of your eyes safe, I will stick with the theme of spruce. Okay, let's get this done normally. Okay, that is the second floor foundation laid out, and um, I'd also like to place the floor for the second floor. <laughs> Bam, that's the flooring. And, uh oh, I think I did it one block too high. Is it bad though? I don't know, hold on. Eh, maybe that's fine actually. Now we can fill in all of the glass. Boom. Okay. So how are we looking with this design? The inside is very nicely laid out, I'd say. And from the outside, I think we're looking pretty good. Now we just have to build the roof. And unfortunately, I do not have the resources to make a lot more. So I figure we can put this to smelt and then we can head out to mine some more cobblestone while that does its thing. Also, our farms are growing very nicely. I would like to design them a little bit more though. I think we can add two more farms here and here, and then we can also add a cover to them, which I think will make them look a bit better kept. We'll just go one, two, three, four, five, and perfect, because that's exactly in line with our tree farm. Oh, and I just realized this is a bit uneven here. Uh, we're gonna need to extend this out by one. I think I made the most of what we've got going on here. It's kind of a weird design, but it also kind of works. And now we can just sew the ground. Can't wait to have glowstone or lamps or something because this is not gonna do it. These torches are not hitting the spot, is all I'm gonna say. Let's see, we definitely wanna grow our wheat seeds. And then we have a few different options. So we have beetroot, for example. And I mean, beetroot soup isn't a bad option. I don't know if it stacks. I'm guessing it does not. We also have melons. Melons might be nice to plant. So we'll just do those for now. And by now our stone brick is probably all done smelting. Yes, it is. And we'll make a bunch more stairs and also more slabs. And you know what else? I should make a stone cutter. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, let's get back to work here. Do a simple roof design and we'll just do it on both sides. Bam. In fact, if we want, boom, do one of these. Bam, little overhang. And then we'll continue the roof. We'll add this and also this. Do that on both sides. Boom, whoops, boom, boom, there we go. And you know what? I'm not hunting for a best house in the world award, which is good for me, because that takes the pressure way off. Gotta tell you the truth. Bam, okay, that is the edges done. Let's see what it looks like. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, cool. Now I think we fill in the rest with oak. And there we go, that should be the whole house designed. Now it needs detailing, but the foundation of it is definitely there, I'd say. Am I amazing at detailing? Nope, but uh, we're gonna try. I'm curious if we can find some clay because I'd like to make flower pots. And I know we don't have flowers, but uh, maybe I can use seed pickles or something. I'm desperate. Yeah, getting clay might be a tough one. Okay, maybe that's a detail we'll find later on, especially underground. I think that's possible to find. In the meantime, we'll add some other designs. I'm thinking we can add oak signs. <laughs> And I'm thinking the next thing we might want to add is lanterns. And leaves will definitely help bring a lot of color to the base. Okay, so we're done. Uh, debatable, but you know what? We're sticking with it. And then oak leaves. How do we make these work? Is a good, good question. 
Wait, who's eating? Oh, it's probably sharks. Oh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, all right. Okay, that is absolutely terrifying. I've kind of added leaves around. I think it's a good look. That one we can probably remove. I think we'll wait on the lanterns. But other than that, you know what? I am happy with our house. This is probably one of the better houses I have built. You guys can't judge me too much, okay? Look, it's a work in progress, my building skills. Now, also, if we want, we can add a secret floor up here. So I'll just fill this in. Oh, but before I do that, let me make sure I add torches up here. Otherwise, that is going to be a nightmare. There we go. Bam. And with that, we can just add some ladders. And we essentially have a full third floor as well, which is really, really nice to have. Yeah, we can fit a lot of stuff in this house. We can even add a trap door like so. And that makes it even cooler. I love it. Okay, I'm not liking how the leaves are looking here though. So let me try to fix this. Maybe if I just keep the leaves consistent all around the base, it'll look a bit better. And is that looking any better? Not necessarily, but it's not necessarily looking worse. I think we'll just keep it like that. So house done. Let us move into it, which I'm excited to do because I would love to have a big storage and have a place to put all of the things we need. So storage is probably going to be the most important piece of our house here because we are going to have a lot of things to store. I figure just putting it right here isn't a bad idea. And there we go. That is the storage set up. I don't think we're going to need any more chests than that. So let's move our stuff over. Oh boy, look at all that. <laughs> I keep having to break the leaves for the trees that I break down because uh, there's just little pieces of log stuck in between them. Like, look at that. How am I supposed to know? And this farm is coming along nicely. We have doubled our wheat production. Look at that. Melon is growing as well. And we will keep that going. And there we go. All moved in. We'll just add a set of doors. There we go. And we can fill this in with clay. Maybe I'll use stairs for the entrance. There we go, that kind of fits. Should also build a nice little cozy bedroom. <laughs> Bam, that's our bedroom right there. And then right here, I'm thinking we could even add like a fireplace. We would need campfires for that. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we don't actually have any place to have an opening here, but we can fix that now. And I believe what we can do to make the smoke go higher is add hay bales underneath. Oh boy, nope, this is not working. Oh, I'm not in a safe place, am I? Hold on, this is bad. I could easily die down here. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, I see something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at it. It's trying to get me, dude. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to, like, burn my house down. Oh, because I don't want to remake campfires. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We're going to fix this. And you know how? We're just going to break the campfires. That's how. And then one, two, three, four. Place these down. And that should now be good to go. Oh, yeah. It's going all the way outside. And now we just need a chimney. I mean, we probably want the chimney to be made out of stone, right? So we'll just pop this out. And then we'll just go up. And I'm gonna need more stone if I really want to do this properly. Okay, well, let's sleep off the night and quickly head down to mine. Okay, I got about three stacks, which should be enough. Boop. Like it never happened. Don't worry, guys. I'm still sticking to my roots throughout this whole process. Still desperate for loot like before. Don't worry. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking we just mix in a bunch of these blocks. Yeah, I mean, that's already kind of looking good, to be honest. Because if we do too much, it's just going to overtake it. And if we do too little, it won't look like it should. Oh, look at that. 
not on the shell. And I'd like to test something out, and that would be using lanterns. There we go. Five of them. These are expensive with our current circumstances. But look at that. I mean, that is a much better way to light up our house. Oh yeah, that, that really freshens it up. So if we can use a mix of those and glowstone, whew, we are gonna be set. And that means two things. We need to go into the nether and we need to collect more iron. I'm thinking we should try to collect more iron first. That's a bit easier. And we can probably get a good amount by adventuring if we get lucky with finding some big structures and ruins. So let's, let's do it. Sleep in our bed first though. I'm not Heading out in the night. Okay, let's go. Okay, lady luck. <laughs> Bring us some luck. Oh, I see a shipwreck. Okay, hello. Books, paper. All of this stuff is actually good. Ah, here's the second chest. Ooh, yes. See, this is a good way of getting what we need. And I got a globe. That's fun. I think that's just a cosmetic item only, but I would love to put that in my home. Globe. There's a shipwreck. I gotta stop doing that though. Okay, wait, where was the shipwreck that I saw? I thought I did see one. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, well, I see a ship. That's uh, that's good. That's what we wanted to find. But I, I swear I saw a shipwreck here. Oh yes, there it is. Hello, shipwreck. More paper, empty map, sea pickles. I'll take some of these, but I don't see a second chest. Okay, let's go to the ship. Hello. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh boy. No, I think this is different because I hear, wait, I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, this is different, isn't it? No, no, maybe it is the same. Okay, never mind, it's the same. Oh boy, there's a lot of them though. How did I get them last time? Oh yeah, I got them from below, okay. I think that's the strategy we're gonna have to stick with. Ooh, and there's a spawner. I'm not getting close to that, I don't wanna activate it. This fella got on my boat, ow, and he is just steamrolling me with his shots. Oh yeah, this is not fun. No, I think this is different, isn't it? I feel like I remember there just being zombies and skeletons on the top last time, so. Oh, and I forgot to bring food. Okay, the good news is there's hay bales on the top of this thing, so I can use those. I'm using this guy as my hostage. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's another ship over there. Okay, ow. I really need food. Okay, I'm out of food. So, okay, carefully take him out from here. Ow. Very limited health right now. Okay, this might be the last one here. Okay, good. Let's get this, and I can even make a hoe really quickly. We'll scoop as much of this up as we can. And there's another ship already. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give please. That is a lifesaver. Uh, nothing too good here. Anything in here? No, nope, no one, but there's a chest. Now, last time we went bottom to top, which made things a lot easier for us. Going top to bottom might be a bit more difficult, but let's try. You know what? I have a terrible idea, but it might work. We put those there, make a flint and steel. We explode both of them at the same time. Okay, that that, that didn't work very well. That, would, that probably did more harm than good for us, to be honest. Oh boy. They are all shooting each other, which is a plus. Oh my goodness, the creeper. Nice. <laughs> kind of hard for me to reach him. Okay, maybe if I attack him from here. Hello, hello. Come here, everybody. They're all stuck. Okay, hello. Couple of zombies. Okay, spawner. Boom. Okay, hold on. Let me grab more TNT. Oh, wolf spawn egg. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's amazing. Now we have a pet. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to have to keep that pet safe. I'm telling you, if I lose that pet, I'm going to be scarred for life. Oh, there's also flower pots here, which is something that I do want. And there is a creeper, which is what I do not want. Uh-oh, it's nighttime. Oh no. Holy moly, how many zombies are spawning, dude? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I hate the nighttime. The amount of mobs is crazy. Yep, okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that creeper. No, sir, you're not coming down here. Oh no, I hear so many things. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, oh boy. Ah, oh boy, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Seems safe down here. Oh my god, these bats, dude. Go away. Gold, gold is good. Oh, it's a zombie villager. Oh, I should not have killed him. But that, that makes me realize something that we can definitely build a village through zombie villagers if we can't just find any directly. Golden apple. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, I think it is time on that note to leave. Get me out of here. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Where's my boat? My boat's on the other side. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I got near the spawners. I don't know what these are able to spawn. Might be sharks. Oh, did I already have my boat? Okay, yes, 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 I do. I do. Okay. 
I'm good. I want to go see what's on that ship. It's a smaller one. And it has a bunch of wool. Oh, this has a bunch of wool too. I have not been very resourceful, have I? I should be taking all the wool off of these. Is that an evoker? Oh, no way. Nope. Thank you. I'll mark those coordinates. I'm not ready for that. That's that's death. No, there's one of these ruined temples here that we can quickly look at. Ow. Oh my goodness, he hasn't tried it. Okay. We are out of here. We are out of here. What is that? That's not a creature, is it? No. It's floating land? What is this? Driftwood. What do you use driftwood for? Sofa? Oh, you can make a sofa. <laughs> oh, look at this sunrise. Beautiful. are and uh, that whole trip was worth it because of one reason we got our wolf yes best friends forever that's amazing hello hopefully we get a name tag but uh, that's an amazing find I'm so happy about that I also got a globe which uh, I guess we can put next to our bed log is a nightstand there we go look at that we can spin it and we have our coordinates now we didn't really get that much iron from the trip but i did have some from mining before and because of that we can make a good amount of lanterns bam let's see we got a lot of places to put these lanterns and i gotta figure out how we're gonna do it um how does that look oops what if we switch the position of the lanterns and the buttons buttons there it doesn't look bad and then lanterns that's probably better let's see here maybe it doesn't matter as much it's all right there we go i've gotten lanterns all around our house and that'll look a lot nicer in the night we probably need them on the top layer too though now that i think of it let's see and kind of place them around like this fortunately you can't place them directly on leaves but that's all right okay there we go i have them on the top layer as well and then we are going to need to place them all around our base which is going to be a bit of a process but we'll figure it out i guess we should go mining because i would really like to deck out our raft with these i cannot tell what it is all right and off to mining we go bedrock that was not the plan i'll try mining at y level 12 and 13 for a bit and diamonds wow it, it, it not a minute passed and i found diamonds and a pretty good amount too and you know what since we're down here and there's a lava lake i figure we should craft a diamond pickaxe and get enough obsidian for a nether portal as well as an enchanting table oh and i just got rid of my water source by accident genius now we'll continue mining for iron for a bit. There's a cave, which could definitely help us find iron. Oh, okay. So here's an enderman, which uh, we should probably start to try and defeat whenever we find. We found a nice big ravine here, which has a lot of iron, so that's perfect. And we'll probably have close to everything we need for now after we mine all of this out. Oh, okay. Of course, we have the good old creeper dropping on your head. Nothing better. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, dude. I'm dealing with that. There's a horde of mobs that's after me right now. And I do not want to deal with it. Look at that witch. Look at it. It's trying to get me. Oh, my God. It got me through the wall. Oh, no. Okay. This is terrible. Look at how many skeletons there are. What's happening right now? Where's that witch throwing potions at me from now? That's insane. Absolutely insane. I've gotten more than three sacks of iron. I think on that note, we can head back up. There we go. And there is our beautiful raft. And we'll smelt all of this up. Meanwhile, I would like to work on the farm area. And I'd like to add a nice kind of cover to it to make it look a bit neater. And I'm thinking maybe we can switch things up and use oak logs at this part. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll that'll look cool. And then I figure for the top, we'll have oak slabs. And you know what? Maybe to make it more interesting, we can add uh, the outline as stone bricks. There we go. That's the stone brick outline done. And then I'm thinking we will go one block up with the oak. And I will 
light the top up, but I'd prefer to use lanterns if we can. Also, because this lets us place an even block, can fill this area up with leaves. We have a good amount of iron, but now we need coal because I used all the coal to smelt all the iron. Oh my goodness. But the good news is I can make a bunch of charcoal, so I'll do that. Four stacks of torches, and that should be more than enough for what we need. Just under two stacks of lanterns for now. I'm gonna keep it at that. And if we really need more, we'll make them. Now as for where we wanna place these, we will have to figure that out. Okay, there we go. Even just placing them on the ground still looks nice. So I don't even mind that at all. And then if we want, we can add some fences to add more lanterns on the sides, for example. Like this maybe, yeah. Okay, we're gonna need to find a better way to light up the roads because placing fences like that is not really gonna do the trick. There we go. Okay, I've added lanterns all around. We'll see how this looks in the nighttime. And I think it'll be an upgrade. Anyways, let us complete this, which I would like to add leaves onto. And I'm going to try just wrapping the leaves around like this, which is a much neater look. And I think this is something that I should have been doing the whole time. I think that's probably the best looking thing we can do. I'd like to test it out over here. I'm going to need to tear this down. There's a few places I could put the leaves on. One of them is here, which perfectly fits. And then maybe we can also add some leaves around like this. Let's see. Not bad. It looks a lot more uniform, I'll tell you that much. And how are we looking with all these lanterns? We're looking pretty good, I think. It's fairly well lit up. We do have the road here, for example, that we need to find a better way to light up. But other than that, it's, it's pretty good. I'd also like to add a little bit more detail to this. We don't need to fully close it off, but I would like it to look a bit more secured. Uh, and I have an idea for how to do that. I don't know what these things are right next to our base. They don't look very friendly. This might've been the thing that attacked me before. I don't know. I actually have no clue. So that is the first step. And then I would like to add the stone brick walls all around and see how that looks. I think it's looking pretty good. I want to try cobblestone walls, actually, because these might add a little bit of detail. Yeah, I like that more. So we'll go with cobblestone walls. Bam. Okay, that's done. Now we are going to fully remove all the trees here. And I think we're going to convert this into a space for animals, which maybe we'll have in the future. And then after that, we'll need to build a, a new area for the tree farm, which is exciting. We haven't really built a, a new area in a bit. We've, we've just been building this house and making changes. but I'll fix it in the same way that we did the other one and I'll just move this to the side. So we'll just put this here instead and that should fix our issues. And there we go. We have an identical area here. We can design this a little bit differently and that would include having separate animal pens. Boom, that's one pen and then fence gate here, fence gate here. It is a bit uneven, but we will do the best with what we've got. We will add fence gates the same way on the side and then the flooring here can definitely use some changing. We want this to not be dirt and I figure we will stick with the same design as before. This is really not preferable, is it? But it is what it is. 
really doing the most with what we've got. It's a bit uh, scrappy, but I mean, at least it's something, right? Let's see how this side is looking now. I mean, pretty good. It's these parts that are a bit awkward with the oak and the spruce not exactly having a design going on to separate them. But other than that, it's okay. We're gonna need to get grass somehow. That would make this look like 10 times better, actually. I'm just realizing that now. Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking? You know what? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Good turnaround. <laughs> we recovered it. And now uh, we got to figure out what we want to do here. So we could actually connect the roof all the way from here to here. And that would probably have a pretty cool look to it. We don't have to make it that complex either. Let's see if we just use oak slabs and make them follow through. And then we can have a transition here and then continue it on. On through. There we go. How are we looking? Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, the roofing kind of makes sense. I kind of like it. And then the flooring here, we can continue along with glass. And I'm just trying to find a good way to make the transition, which might just be like that. And I would like for this path to lead to our new tree farm, which I want to make sure is very big. And we can probably just build it right out here. I'm going to want to use a circular design like we did with our mob farm and house, but this is probably going to be the biggest circle. I'm picking up the scraps of dirt that I had, which I actually had a good amount of, two stacks about. And this is more than enough to finally finish the outline of our tree farm. Thank goodness. You know, there's a few things that we want to do, which would be to light it up and design it and then actually figure out how we're going to plant the trees. Also, let me make sure I am continuing the growth of our wheat farm and melon farm here. Bam. So the melon farm is all done and make sure we're harvesting these as well. Okay. So here's the plan. I'm thinking we're going to add an additional wraparound of spruce. And then the plan would be to add oak leaves all around like so. Let's see if that actually looks good. Hmm. I don't know yet. I don't know, but I do know one thing. I'd also like to separate the two sides of the circle because I tend to not know where I want to plant my oak trees and where I want to plant my spruce trees. So having it separated would be uh, pretty helpful. We'll cut out this middle portion here. Bam. Okay, so it's separated. And let's see what planting down the trees would look like. Oh, and I'm out of oak saplings already. Oh, we better light this up at least temporarily. You know what though? The planting of the trees works out really well. It's weirdly well balanced, kind of perfect one could say. And then I figure we'll just leave the rest as is unless we can kind of border this with grass like so. Ooh, that kind of works. Okay, so we need more leaves. Let me bone meal some trees. Gimme, gimme. Border this perfectly. And there we go. The spruce trees are growing. Don't worry, I'll get rid of these trees too. And it turns out I had a, like a stack of saplings in my chest. So we're good to go on planting down the rest of these. And it's still very odd as to how this perfectly matches up, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain at all. Boom, and done. Also, lanterns all lit up. Okay, so that's actually done. Now, the next thing I would really, really like to do is somehow get villagers over onto our raft. And after that, we can probably build some more walkways and maybe even mini villager homes for them. Kind of make like a little village here. That'd be pretty cool. Now, I do believe that there are ship villages that can be found. I don't know how rare they are, but to be honest, it might be our best shot at bringing villagers here. So I figure we should go on a trip and hello. I think we'll call him buddy. Anyways, 
Let's get on our boat. Okay, let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. I feel it. I feel it. There's a shipwreck here that we might as well check out. Ooh, actually some pretty decent loot, I'd say. More paper and books. This is all coming in handy for a level 30 enchanting table. I don't know if it's possible to find sugar cane in any chest, but uh, that would be a great thing to find, let me tell you. Here's another one of these big ships. I don't really want to deal with that right now, so I'm just going to skip on past that. And there are a lot of scary sea creatures. Oh my goodness. We have another one of these. Oh, and there's a trident, fella. Oh, oh, yes, I have a shield. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, you're gone. Didn't drop a trident. Oh, could just be... Wait, oh my goodness, there's another trident. <gasps> okay, this is bad. This could be the death of me here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to juke him out. Oh, there's sharks. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Please stop shooting me. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oh. Go, 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 go. Why do I hear so many tridents being thrown at me? Give me a break. Give me a break. Come on. Guys, stop chasing me. Ooh, okay. I think I'm okay. Holy moly, man. And I have no wood on me, and they took my only boat. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, this thing's chasing me. Dude. Ow. No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. It's not doing that much damage. Okay. Oh, okay, up I go. Okay, I'm good. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab wood. Okay, there we go. With that, we make a boat. Now, I don't know if I should head home just yet because I feel sort of safe now that we have a boat. Oh, actually, if I can grab the materials from this ship, I could make a bed. That would make my life a lot easier. So let's try to do that. Okay, some of this is white concrete powder, which is not what we need, but some of it is also so, wool. Perfect. Give me that. Give me that. Bed. And I am sleeping up here. Oh, no. Monsters nearby. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe if I build outwards, this is a bit risky. Okay. I'm sleeping, like, literally on the edge. Okay. We're good. Wow. That worked. So let us get on out of here. More feathers and paper here. Okay. One of these things. Oh, one hit that thing. Raw eel meat. Okay. Got another globe, why not? Oh, wait, there's hope. That looks like a very friendly ship. Come on. Nope, that's not a friendly ship. I lied. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's one of the evoker ones. Yeah, no. Did they have villagers trapped in there? No, I, I'm not going in there. Is this just sand? This is technically an island. We have found an island. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. This is a good place to get sand from, but I have a moral dilemma. Should I remove the island or should I keep it? You know, one gives me sand, one doesn't, you know? And it's kind of far away from my base. So, you know, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to take some sand. You know what? I'll leave one block. How about that? There we go. Technically, it's still an island. Okay, I think we were pretty successful. I got a lot of sand and let's continue with our mission at hand. Looks like there's another evoker ship. Oh, wait, there's an iron golem there and there are villagers. Oh my goodness. How far are we out? And here are villagers. <gasps> wait, what? Wait, are you kidding me? It's a witch ship? Are you joking? Are there villagers inside here? No. What is that? How did that even happen? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It was a disguise. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. I can't even. I'm going to mark it down. I don't. That's so disappointing. <laughs> that's definitely another one of the same things, isn't it? Yeah, it can happen. Go for it. Just do the transformation thing. Oh, la di da di do. <laughs> it's not happening. This might actually be a village. <gasps> oh, sailor. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at these trades. Whoa. Ooh, turtle shell. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wait, this is an actual village. Captain. Whoa. What is that? Monument entrance? Sunken coral reef? Phantoms of the night? I don't know. I wonder if any of these will actually work. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we need to try to get all of these fellas back to our raft. And we are about 1,200 blocks away. Ooh, look at this. Cool little shield. An enchanted golden apple for 16 emeralds? That's an insane deal. Decent stuff. Skewed. What is this for? Turtle shell. Right. Wow, this is an amazing find. Wow, 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 wow. More books. Slowly getting up to that 45 book. Okay, well, we gotta transport you fellas. And that is by no means gonna be easy. But the good thing is that we can ride in a boat while the villager's inside with us. Okay, hold on. Let's grab the boat. And let's put one of you inside. Perfect. We will then proceed to boat off. Boom. 
And we have the villager with us. Nice. Okay. And let us return. Wow. I, I, I really did not think that this was going to end up being a village. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything friendly here. That's for sure. I actually don't see anything here. I think this is some kind of a trick. There's no way it's just empty. Is it? Oh, it's just an abandoned ship. But there's also barely any loot here, it seems. Yeah, not much here. Not much here. Let's continue along. Welcome to your new home, pal. It's probably a pretty big upgrade from the little ship you were living on. Um, now we do gotta try to get this guy off the ship. Now, okay, the only problem is that he's locked into a profession. He seems to wanna, oh, where is he? Okay, he's chilling. Yeah, I don't know, let's put you in a boat. Mm, I wonder if we should try to take him to safety. Can I go over this bridge on my boat? No, I can't. Mm. Okay, well, I hope this fella stays safe. Um, let's sleep off the night, first of all. Let's see, I'd like to try to get him over to my house if possible, because there are a lot of random sea creatures and monsters spawning. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, look at him, he's going in circles now. No, go this way, no. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to trap him. Oh, I'm afraid, see, like, what if those things just spring up and kill him through the glass or something? No, I really cannot risk that. I don't know, I guess I'll just have to take the risk and try to trap him here, okay. Look, you gotta, you gotta pick us. Okay. All right, my friend. Oh, and they went in the water. Probably the worst place they could have went. How about we just put you in a boat? How about that, buddy? I'm gonna get you in a boat. There we go. Can't really do much better than that. So I'm just gonna trap them in like so. And hoping for the best. And while we are home, I figure we should just make a full set of armor. Okay, let's head back. Two, here we go, off we go. And we'll put you in a boat, no, no, no. And we'll trap you in this corner. This guy's good, perfect. Hey, back away, hey. Gotcha. Whoa, so many drowns. Oh man, they all have diving helmets now. It's also very hard to hit these fellas. Uh oh, 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 oh. Oh, we had actually dropped scuba boots. Whoa, well, we can put mending on that, for example, but I don't know what effects this has. Let's see. But it would be great if we can get a full set of diving gear. I'll tell you that much. Oh, chest here. I'm breaking two fishing rod. Okay. Okay, we got one more villager in here. And then we have the captain above. So let's just break through here place you in a boat and we're good to go there we go number three all right here we go captain there's a page log here as well we have left the taiga village and are now on our way south our cargo is nothing too special this time but we still have to be careful there are said to be illager patrol ships close by and i'd like to avoid confrontation good news no illagers so far la 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 Iron Golem is leaking again. Dangerous waters. I see. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to grab this because why not? And I am also going to grab you, sir. Very friendly. Now, I do wonder, and I'd like to check this before I leave. Can you put an Iron Golem in a boat? My guess is no, because they're so huge. Yeah, it does not work. That's too bad. I would have loved to take them with us. Anyways, let's break out this way. Okay, so we got all the fellas here. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna do with them. Now I'm thinking we can build a villager breeder over here. The only question is how far we wanna actually extend out before building it. Maybe we can just build it right away. So as always, let us build out a circle. And there we go. Okay, it's a kind of worked out. We will fill this in like usual. What we'll do is raise this up like so. There we go. And then from here, we can place the slabs like we want. And now here we can build a village breeder. But before we do that, we need to get the materials. I think I mainly have everything except for some more beds. And to get those, we can just get some wool off the ships we've been running into make a set of shears and uh, let's get on with it. Okay, off we go. Here we are, and I think this is the one that we've already looted. I hear maybe it's not. 
because I hear villagers. I'm just gonna do this real quick. And I'm gonna grab some extra wool because I'm sure we can get more beds if we want and also make some other things with wool. Okay, I got more than a stack. That should be good enough for what we need. And I'm gonna need more wood. So it looks like we are gonna need to use our tree farm for the first time. Now the trees are overgrowing into here, which is fine with me. I at least have a clear separation of where the spruce trees are, for example, and that's what I wanna chop down right now. Okay, I've gotten everything I need. Now one thing is that the leaves won't end up despawning unless I do both sides, but I'm fine with that. And it's a good thing that I've been getting gold and redstone as well, because I'm gonna need to use that to make some of the parts for this. Let us get to work. So let's see here. First, we'll build a nine by nine. And it looks like we're gonna need a bit of additional space. Maybe we can get away with this, let's see. Barely not enough, because it needs to be like that. Okay, this platform is not big enough. So let's use this platform for something else then. And we'll just build a new one for the farm and I'll make sure it's a lot bigger. I'd say maybe we can diagonally go that way. It's probably the best spot to build the breeder. Let's see, so we could build the path right here, here, and then bam. And then we'll carry this along maybe. How's that looking for a path? Okay, we'll do this. Okay, there we go, that's the path out. Okay, now from here, we can build out a big circle. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go boom, 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 and we'll start building it, okay. Okay, so I think I'm building it out properly here. It should all line up once we're done. There we go, did line up, perfecto. And then we'll bring this a layer up. And finally, we'll bring this up a block, like so. There we go. And unfortunately, it is going to have to be non-diagonal here, but I think that's fine. We'll bring all of these walls up one block. Then we'll add a composter here and here. And then we need a water source specifically under here. I'm hoping it can work if I just place it on the slab like that. We'll see if we end up having any issues. Um, we then need to replace this with dirt. How are our villagers looking? You guys are alive? Yeah, you are, good. And hopefully this is moisturized. It is. It's working well. Now we can place carrots here. Now we place our three beds right here. Okay, and then trap doors like this. And, and now, one thing that's annoying is we need to do some work below this, which I kind of wish I fully knew before I started working on this, but that's okay. We're basically gonna need to fully empty out the water here. Oh, hello, shark. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to fight. Me and you, gonna have to fight. Oh, he's swimming away. Now I feel bad. Oh, okay. I think they like hitting you from behind or something, not from the front, because it seemed to want to get away and then come behind me. Anyways, we'll fill this in. There we go, that's one layer. We need, I guess I'll do two more to be safe. I'm gonna need to get a bunch of dirt. Or maybe I can even use oak leaves. Might be even quicker. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Probably we just fully cover this layer. Okay, bam. So that is a full layer of leaves. Now we break this and rinse and repeat. This time I'll do two layers at once and see if that works. Perfect, and now we will just fill in the bottom. Bam, 
all done. That took a while. Okay, we need a way up here. Redstone torch, dispenser. Okay, rails. This is complicated to make right here. Um, let's see, there we go. And slab here. Okay, this is fine. Button goes there. Okay, and then we go from here and we have to place a water bucket here. Go water bucket, boom flows into here apparently that part should be done i'm doubting that this is gonna work with these villagers we might have to find some other ones but uh we're gonna try now there are two farmers right yes so since they're farmers theoretically they should like that there's composters also i should sleep off the night while i'm working with these fellas okay you're coming with me okay and let's walk you above. There we go, back in you go. And bring you over here. And let's see if he ends up having green sparks above his head. You wanna go inside there, bud? You, you, you wanna go in there? No, you don't like it in there, do you? Uh-oh, okay, so that's bad news because I don't think we can actually use these fellas to breed. Well, I'm gonna bring this guy in here for now just because I want him to stay safe, but that might mean that we need to find some different villagers and I don't know know if there's any villagers that aren't already within a role. I don't know. Let's try bringing in the other farmer as well. So let's take this fella with us. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. This is crazy. This guy just loves this barrel. Let's try taking him into the water and transporting him that way. Alrighty, up we go, up we go. This guy is making me very mad. Okay, let's take you literally to the other side of <laughs> this build. It's got to be fairly simple. No, 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 this guy, dude. What do you love so much about that barrel? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, uh, pain, it's just painful. Up we go this way, there we go. Then we're gonna put you in the boat, good. And then we're gonna drive into here, perfect. And then we are gonna take you out of the boat and lock you in here. We're gonna take you out of the boat, but we'll see if they do anything. Let's see, so if I give these fellas some carrots to start off, they are picking the carrots up, which is good. There you go, and I can go grab some more from my farm. Oh, they made a baby. Oh, it worked. Oh my God. Oh, and there goes the baby. Perfect. Oh, no way. Okay, so now the baby should flow in. Uh-oh. Okay, the baby's here. Okay, we just need to wait for the baby to grow up and then we should be able to transport it. Nice. Oh my goodness, it works. Ah. I do feel like we need to add like a safety railing around this whole island just because uh, villagers are top priority to us. The leaves are a good way of raising up the platform on the edges without making it look too cluttered because if it was just solid wood all around, it would look a bit boring, but the fences and leaves combo is kind of nice. Boom, pretty cool. And we should add some type of roof to this as well as a border of some kind. So we'll place spruce slabs. Spruce logs. Ooh, it's a bit too narrow. Maybe like this, spruce logs. Let's see what we can do here. We could just go individual fences. That's not that strong of an effect. So maybe we just add more slabs on the edge. There we go. And then we just fill this in. Boom. We can add logs here as well. Maybe here and here. There we go, logs. Boom, boom. And I'm thinking we'll strip these like so. There we go. And then we can probably use stone brick slabs. And then on this layer, we'll add oak slabs. I'm trying to light the place up. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Did I light it up that badly? Oh my goodness. Did I light it up that badly? Okay, we got to fix this ASAP. This is the worst place to not be lit up properly. Oh, there's two babies here now. And one of them's just a regular one, which is good. The other one's already born a farmer, it seems, or something, but that's great. Yeah, we gotta make sure that everything is very well lit up. And there we go. Kinda lit most of this up, which is good. And it would be nice if we can make this kind of have a finished look to it. I'm thinking maybe adding some spruce logs here would be a good idea. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Go 
placed logs all over and we'll just strip these. Looking good, looking good. So now that we are producing villagers, we need to actually set up spaces for the villagers to go into. That's the main priority on my list. And then I'd also really like to go to the nether and get glowstone to start adding to our builds. Now, starting off here, we have a platform that we could use for the villagers. And what I'm thinking is that we can set up a bunch of different platforms and pathways for the villagers that don't let them get outside. So we'll have to block off all of the edges. And then from here, we can branch out and extend their kind of village area. So right off the bat, we probably want to border this in the exact same way as we did that. I think we should head into the nether and then we can continue with these builds because uh, we have a lot of building to do. It's not really going to end anytime soon. And we have the obsidian, but where are we going to actually place that portal? I'm thinking over here is a good area just because it's already dangerous. Maybe we can have a little extension here and then place the nether portal in front of us. Extend another little glass pathway. And I think we want a mini circle here. So let's just, oh, that's a jellyfish. Okay, now, yeah, come here, got it. Didn't even drop anything, all for nothing. All right, let's just try filling this in with stone brick. You can create a wood border maybe with slabs like so. There we go. And now we need to place the nether portal, but in this case, the nether portal uh -oh, is gonna have to be a bit wider than the typical, oh. Okay, let's see, let's go for it. It actually kind of works. Not bad, not bad. Stairs like so. Maybe we can add a little bit of leaves around it. How's that? Not terrible. Ooh, and you know what? It would also probably be a very important thing to have a little space in between that we can put fence gates in front of so that mobs can't just freely walk in from the nether. Let's see, we can add more leaves around. And then, bam, we can put fence gates here and that'll keep any trouble out. We should also make sure to cover the back here. From there, we can light this up, boom. And that's not that bad looking and it's mostly safe. Okay, I'm not liking how this is looking. We're gonna need to change it. We're gonna change this to wood. I'm having to use stone slabs because I don't have any more direct blocks. It is what it is. Cover this. I'm gonna cover this like so. There we go. Okay, and then. Boom. Okay, we're gonna build this up. Boom. There we go. And I think that's a good look for our portal here. We just need to light it up. Okay, light it up. That is looking good. I think we should also add leaves around this as a kind of protective border. And I'll do it a little bit different than we did over here because I want to keep the theme for borders of villagers the same all throughout and keep the rest of the borders different. Okay, there we go. So I have covered this with leaves. That is looking very nice. And then to finish it off, we can add an additional gate here, which looks really nice because that gives us more protection against anything that's coming through the nether. And with that, we have a working nether portal that is beautiful. But before we enter, I definitely need to prepare. And you know what, actually? We can probably enchant some of our gear, not up to level 30, but a decent amount because I have uh, 24 books, maybe some more even. So that can definitely give us some enchanting power. And I can make an enchanting table with the obsidian that we collected and then i want to make bookshelves as well eight not bad and we can place the enchanting table up here boom let's see what luck we can get here thorns on breaking fire protection that could be good in the nether fire aspect that's good i'll do fire aspect pain of arthropods three okay projectile protection three that's not bad protection two that's good Ooh, and respiration depth strider Ooh, and protection two what can we get on this pickaxe? Efficiency two. Unbreaking. Ooh, wow. We got really good enchantments. A lot of protection twos. 
I was not expecting that at all. And you know what else we can do is we can try to enchant a bow, maybe, because that is a very useful weapon to have. Unbreaking. Unbreaking isn't too good. Um, Let's see, maybe I can enchant something else. Efficiency to axe. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, power two. There we go. Oh, but I have no more lapis. Please tell me I have some more. Yes, I do. Boom, power two and I'm breaking two. Wow, we got really good enchantments for such a low level. I'm really happy with that. Also, what we can do is go to the villager that had that enchanted golden apple trade, which is actually pretty cheap, and get one of those, which it'll really help us out in the nether. Boom, one golden apple and 16 emeralds for an enchanted golden apple. That's crazy. What a deal indeed. I mean, with that, I think we are mostly ready to head into the nether. There's not really anything else we need to bring with us other than maybe a flint and steel in case our portal goes out. It's time to go into the nether, isn't it? You stay here, though. You don't go in the nether, buddy. Uh, let's head into the nether, and hopefully we will get a good spawn. And we actually got a pretty good spawn. It seems like there's no lava around us. That's, that's what I like to see. So let's mine on down. <laughs> Yep. Okay, here we go. We got an opening. Perfect. And we got glowstone right here. That is what we need. Oh, I hate these things. Ew, disgusting. Die. I hate those mosquito things. Goodness gracious. And there's also other types of wood here in the nether, which uh, if we want, we might be able to use on our raft. Oh, man, there's another one of these things. Get away. And more easy glowstone here. A lot, which is awesome. Even that much glowstone is already just about all we need for the beginning. Oh, why? Go away, guys. I don't want to fight you. I think I'm going to be satisfied with the amount of glowstone that we got. And uh, let's try to head back to our portal. Oh, my goodness. These things are going to drive me insane. They're just so disgusting to look at. They're knocking me all over the place. I can't be bothered. Ah, here we go. My nether portal, home sweet home, please bring me back. Ah, uh, feels good. Get me out of there. Let's see the glowstone go to work right away. What a beautiful block. How incredible. That gives us a great way to light the floor up. Perfect. And we can replace all of these lanterns with glowstone as well. Yeah, this is great. I'm loving it. Being able to place glowstone on the floor instead of lanterns, amazing. And for the farms especially, this is really nice. And our wheat farm is now fully growing, which is nice. Oh yeah, get out of here, lanterns. Yeah, there we go, all lit up. Perfect. I think I've done a pretty good job of lighting everything up using our lanterns and glowstone together. Now that I'm finally done with that, let's get to building a home for the villagers. You know what? Let's build the villager trading hall first. I think that takes priority. Okay, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Um, I figure we can build out this way and then create a rectangular platform. Yeah, let's just do the spruce on the side with the glass in the middle. And then we can essentially just have the rectangular platform start right here. And I think we'll still use spruce for the outline as usual. So boom, we'll have it up until there. How about that? That should give us enough space for the trading hall section. And then we do have this whole space to extend into. And fill it in with oak. Boom, platform made, and we're gonna need to get to work. The materials shouldn't be too hard to get. We might need sticky pistons, that might be an issue. What was it that we can turn into slime balls? Jellyfish, okay, so we need to hunt some jellyfish down. You know, I'm just jellyfishing like SpongeBob. Come on, jellyfish, I love you fellas. Uh, I simply want to murder you for your slime balls. I'm pretty sure it's a fact that's, that jellyfish just don't have brains, right? So, I don't know, I still feel bad about it, but it's like, I don't feel that bad, because all they do is just poison you and make the ocean a dangerous place. Well, there's one. I just got a jellyfish. Uh, shark killed, I guess. It's like all the jellyfish disappeared. Oh, is this one? Oh, it's a baby one. It's probably not even gonna drop anything. Ow. Yeah, that's a baby jellyfish. Oh, there's a batch of them. Let's go. Oh, yes. 
They're dropping what we need. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. I think I already have one in a chest, so we have enough. Yes, okay. Let's melt that up. The main hard part is really just gonna be getting the zombie to infect the villagers, but we'll figure that out. And you know what? It turns out we just need regular pistons, not even sticky pistons, so I was wrong about that. But let's make them. Okay, I have just about everything we should need here. Okay, I need more spruce and more cobblestone, it seems. So we're close, but just not there yet. I'm gonna quickly head on a down and mine some up. Alrighty, two stacks of cobblestone is enough. There we go, and that is all of the resources made. And with that, we can begin work on this villager trading hall. We need to place six planks alternating to start off. Now we place levers here. Ooh, and we have to mine. We have to do the same thing with water that we did before. Okay, but instead of doing that, maybe we should just elevate this platform so that we don't have to deal with that. We can probably just add stairs going up here, and then this will be the bottom of the floor. Okay, let's get this villager trading hall done. Now, I'll probably end up wanting the villagers to be different professions, but just for now, I'm gonna only place lecterns for librarians, and that is gonna require me to take out some of the bookshelves that we have, unfortunately. Theoretically, we need six lecterns, so I think 18 books. That's exactly how many books we need. Okay, there we go. Six bookshelves. Boom, six. Okay, so we have all the slots figured out. Now we need to do two things to make this to fully work appropriately. One is to get a zombie on the inside part right above me right here. And then number two, we need to get the villagers each into their respective places. I believe if we just press the piston, yes, it would release the villager down and then the zombie can turn them. Whew, so how are we gonna transport the villagers? That's a good question. We essentially have a direct point from there to here that we can connect and maybe we can use a railway. I think I have a plan and I believe that plan involves using a minecart and a railway because that's the easiest way we can just directly transport the villagers to each spot which would be perfect so we already have the railway coming out this way we can very simply extend it we're just gonna carry this right on through and then we want it to go right there. So if we can transport the villager right there, that'd be perfect. This dispenser doesn't have a minecart in it right now. I need to fix that. Here we are. Okay, let's see. So minecart dispense. Well, first of all, that has to go. But second of all, it's not working. Possible we want slabs there like that. And then maybe now it'll work. Oh, it did work. Oh my goodness. And we got the villager right on in there. I think all we need to do is just place a block here. Boom. Oh my goodness, that was the worst case scenario of what could have happened. I hit the villager, which is gonna mess up my trades with them. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Oh my goodness, and my axe broke. How's this villager doing? Oh, we became a librarian, and my prices are very high. Yeah, I mean, that's my bad, that's my bad. What I can do to fix that is get him infected by a zombie, so it's fine. Oh, okay, we got one. There we go, good, good, good. There we go, push you on there. I learned my lesson from last time, we're gonna no, now this guy's gonna hate me too. Oh my goodness, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna cycle you back through. Put you in. No, I did it again. Oh my goodness. Okay, I mean, oh, no, that's not gonna work. I can't have you here. No, move. You can't be here. No, stop. It's fine. We definitely need to get a zombie and we need to get sugar. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna push you in. No, do not become a librarian here. Let's go. Oh, wow. He loves his post now. Okay, there we go. So you're going to move you. Oh, you're not going to want to move, are you? Okay, what if we do this? Did that work? Should I get him in? No. Dude, you're crazy, man. I can't. I cannot. He just pulled a Houdini on me. Oh, my God. He's wreaking havoc. Oh, okay, good. New strategy is we break this rail. We flip this one down. No. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, we got him in. Okay, we got two villagers done. Okay, we're putting that there, and then we're just gonna get you in there. Oh, yep, yeah, perfect. There we go. I don't think I hit him. I think we actually did it. Okay, we're getting you in there. Okay, good. Done. Okay, we're out of babies. Oh, they don't seem to be doing anything. Um, it's possible that all the villagers are too close together. Is that what it is? Maybe if I grab some of this, this might help. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the love going on. That's what I like to see. All right, we'll give them their privacy, you know? But that means another baby. Hello, baby. All right. Okay, we have three more to fill up here. And while we're doing this whole thing, we can start working more on building the actual habitat for the villagers, maybe. I'm thinking we're gonna separate this out. And from what I understand, villagers cannot open fence gates, which is perfect for us. So we'll do that. And we probably don't really want them going into this area either, if I'm honest, but we'll just have to see how they act, I guess. And then we are going to at least temporarily block this area off as well, just because it is not protected at all. And we can let the villagers out of their kind of like cages and bring them into the circle for now. Close that off. Boom. So we got both villagers in here and they can freely chill out. They don't seem to be walking around yet, but we'll see. So they have an area here that I can keep them in. Okay. So I want to incorporate a kind of semi village within a raft, but uh, I'm kind of struggling to figure it out. First of all, I think we need to block this off so these fellas don't get lost, but I'm thinking maybe we can build a little part here for the villagers in between my house and this island that we're on. And then we can also extend out to here. And um, I'm thinking we'll just add many structures that have different professions, like a blacksmith building, maybe one that has to do with food and stuff like that. Uh, how can we do this? Let's see. Place fence gates like this, maybe. Okay, so that's blocked off. They can't just go walk in. And I'm thinking we will open up an area here. And I'll just use the same design with uh, spruce and oak. Now, is this a full block? No, it isn't. So maybe what we should do is bring this up one and then start building out from here so that the island can be fully even. I don't really want to do the thing where the edges are lowered. And I'm not sure exactly how far I want to bring this over to this side. Yeah, we could even like wrap it all around the house if we wanted. I think for now, we will hold off on doing that though. And I'll just bring it up until around here. And we probably want to cut it off before the bridge just because trying to get it under here is going to cause some issues. Maybe we can make an extension later, but I think ending it off around here would be the best thing to do. And then we'll just wrap it right back around. How's that looking? Not bad. Not a bad piece of land. And with that, we will fill all of this in with oak. Okay, all filled in. I have one idea that could work. That entails us placing another layer of leaves and then slabs on top of them. Okay, here we go, let's see. What look is that gonna give? You know, not a bad one, not a bad one. And then we'd have slabs going all around like this. Yeah, I think this can work. This feels secluded and give, has village vibes. I like it. And this is ready to be filled up with some structures and such. Yeah, and it looks like we need a lot more cobblestone as well. So I think the best thing we can do is head out and go mining. Wow, there is a lot of veins of iron here. Holy moly. I already have 33 and I've been mining for like a few minutes, so I'm happy. Okay, I think we got enough of everything that we need over a stack of iron and about six stacks of cobblestone. So let us head right on back up. There we go. Surface, that is what I like to see. So let's see here. Let's get cobblestone smelting up. 
iron as well. And let's see, what can we do while that does its thing? Oh, we can move more of our villagers. I don't know if any have grown, so we'll have to find out. Hello, fellas. No entry beyond this point. Let's see. We got one. Uh, I think that's it, but that's fine. Yeah, we got to remember to break that first. And then we can place in the minecart. There we go. Perfect. Rail, boom. You go for it. And while that's happening, let me quickly drop some carrots to these fellas. You guys are looking at... Oh my goodness, that nose is wiggling. Oh my goodness. Is that what they do when they're breeding? Is that a thing? Or is that just their animation normally right now? Hold on. Why do they do that when they're making babies? I am not gonna... I'm, I'm not... I'm gonna... We're just gonna forget that ever happened. That was... That was very weird. Okay, let's see if we can do this like we want to. No, of course not. Why would we be able to do it like we want? Hey, all right. So you like that. Let's just get you in through here. Bam. Done. Oh, that was like the easiest one. Do any of these guys randomly already have... Oh, wow. They, this guy has fortune three. Um, You know what? That's really good. Mirror? Oh, I don't know what mirror is. Uh, There's no description or anything. I'm not even going to think about it. I don't know what that is. Uh, Punch and bookshelf. But this guy still hates me. He hates me a bit less now, which is good. And this... First round is done smelting. Now we are running low on coal as well. I used to be able to get the barrels and everything that was dropping, but it seems to have stopped or most of it's just going under our raft, unfortunately. Yeah, but I don't even see any items floating below either. So I think think it might just stop as the days go by. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We have to figure that out. Uh, let's see. We have stone, but I'd like to transform it into smooth stone so we can use that as well. Let's see. I think blast furnace is what creates the blacksmith profession, right? So we need to make one of these. Bam, make two. And let's get started on building the first structure. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Now, usually the build uses cobblestone. Maybe we can change it up a little bit and we can use stone bricks. I don't know how good of an idea that it is at all, but you know. this close off here. Definitely needs some more additions though. Maybe we add oak logs. That might help it a little bit. This is a fancy village. We use lanterns. And then maybe here we have it stick out a bit with two blast furnaces. And then I'm wondering if we can put anything here that kind of fits into this theme. Could do a couple armor stands, for example. Boom, two of those. And I definitely have some armor that we don't need or like that crossbow, for example. Iron chest plate. Could even grab the those diving boots, but we'll have it facing us this way. So boom, 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 boom. And then we can have a couple armor stands like that. Boom, boom, perfect. And we have that section basically done. It's very simple looking. And what if we let the corner stick out like that? That kind of works. We're gonna leave that as is. I think we can build a little market front here. We have a bunch of wool. Let's see here. Probably want a bunch of slabs and also stairs. Here we go. Um, okay, let's see. Let's wrap this back around like so. Stone brick stairs through here. We'll have an opening here and we can probably add a fence gate. Bam. I'm thinking maybe we use spruce fences. Bam. And then we can do this. Add this all around. And then to top it, Add some buttons. And then what theme do we want this market to be? That's a good question. Maybe we can put a Fletcher here for which we'll need a Fletching table. And yeah, there we go, Fletching table. And I know it's not necessarily gonna be the most useful type for us, but uh, I figure it will just add variety to our village, which is nice. Let me place some lanterns. We also want to place beds around here so that this attracts the villagers more so, I think. I believe that's how it works. We will need a bed here as well. Maybe we can do something like this. Then we can put a chest there as well. I figure we might as well just finish getting all the villagers over to our trading hall already. Oh, don't die, please. Whoa, how did you get out? Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see the problem. No. No, 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 no. Get out. Okay. Let's see if he stays in if I break this. Oh, he does. Good. Okay. 
This guy's just staring the other villager down. All right, we're gonna remove these. We're gonna move you into here. And we're gonna have a block right there to block you. No, stop trying to leave. Just accept your fate. Accept it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there might be an issue. I think this guy... Oh, okay. Yeah. See, he's trying to go to this lectern because that's the only way he can actually turn into a librarian. Yeah, there we go. Well, he became a librarian, so that's good. Um, okay, hold on. We're gonna have to separate you two fellas. Here we go. Okay, that's done. And now we just need to get one more villager in. Yeah, I see why these guys weren't farming anything now because they, they aren't farmers. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. All right, cool, cool. You guys get it done. I think we'll have one more market here, and then maybe we can have a little campfire with a couple more rolls around it over here. So let's just kind of mimic this design. We'll see if this is weird because it's diagonal kind of. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I think we can put a fisherman here. There we go. Oh, and our villagers are already making themselves at home. We can place a barrel down here because this is gonna be a fisherman's place. And where are you going? What is going on? What am I hearing? We can place another bed here and that's that. We can also add signs later on and, and item plates if we want, but this is sort of what we need. Just as one final area, I wanna set up a campfire here and have a butcher and maybe one one more profession. Here we go. We got campfires. We can put the campfires right over here. But there we go. A little campfire. And we can create some seating like so and like so. We need a smoker as well. Bam. Maybe place this over here. And I'm thinking we can have a leather worker over there as well. We'll just do this. Boom. Cauldron. And we'll place this down here. There we go. So so this is kind of lively. Now, I don't want the villagers to die by standing on this. That's my one concern. I don't really trust them. Um, what we can do maybe is use stone brick walls like this, and this will kind of close it off. There we go. Now, if they still walk on here, I don't even know what to tell you. And then back here, I'm thinking I can put a couple of beds. Maybe like this, like this. We can even make a little roof. That kind of works. I think they should be able to sleep in there. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then we got these fellas who are already with uh, a trade in mind, so that's good too. I'd say we are done with creating the village. Do I hear a cat? Wait, hold on. I hear a cat. Where is this cat? Look, everybody's sleeping in their beds. That's so nice. See, now I don't feel so alone anymore. I feel like I got a whole village here. I hear a cat. Where's the cat? Oh, <gasps> hello. Oh my goodness, hello. Uh, do I have any fish? Uh, no, I need regular fish. Raw cod. Yeah, we got you fish. Oh, there we go. We got a cat. Oh yeah, and you're sleeping? Okay, let's sleep. That's awesome, we'll call her blue. No, how did this happen? This is what I've been trying to avoid. Oh my God. Okay, how did you, oh, of course you got up there with this. Of course you did. Okay, we gotta place these differently. How about we just do that? There we go, okay. No more trying to get off the edges here, okay? This is the last trading hall villager we're gonna need. Oh, and I don't have a minecart in there. Boom, perfect, final villager. And now that we've finished with that, we can put some different villagers in here that are actually going to be farmers. Perfect. This fella is now an actual farmer. Where'd the other sailor go? Okay. Out. Out she go. Out she go. No, not in. Where you going? You want to go that way? Oh my god. You got to help me out here, pal. Let's... Oh my goodness. Let's get you out. Oh, yes. Finally. Oh, no, no, not you. Okay, good. Done. Where's the other fella? How'd you just get back in? Did he, did he step like this? Is this what he did? Oh, it got... I think it just got messed up because I just stepped in there. They want their privacy. Oh, Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just, I swear, man, I'm done. Okay, we're going for it, and it happened, we did it. Now let us push you on through to here. There we go, perfect. We need sugar, which would come from sugar cane, so that we can make weakness potions. We need a zombie, and we also need a name tag so the zombie doesn't despawn. So that's three things that we need to get. I think the best thing we can do is go adventuring out at sea to try and get some of these resources that we need. We're gonna definitely need to be ready if we wanna do this though, because uh, there's evokers that we're gonna have to fight. Let's go for it. And I'm going to quickly 
grab enough wool to make a bed. I'm not dealing with the nighttime. No, thank you. Boom, light blue bed, sleep time. Okay, let's do this. And, ooh, is this an evoker ship right here? No, it looks like it's something else. There's husks and zombies, so let's approach this one. This is probably gonna be a lot easier to take down in that case. Okay, let's hop on board here and take all you fellas out. Ooh, sharpness three, aqua affinity, feather falling four. Wow, that's good. Fermented spider eyes we need though. That's perfect. We're finding the loot that we exactly need for what we want to do. And I think I see the evoker ship in the distance. Yeah, that's it, that's the one. Now I wonder if we can just bow the evoker down and stay safe on our boat. So which is fine. The illusionist is probably a problem as well. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna bow at it. Nice, we got it. Tried to throw a potion at me. Not today, pal. I'm going to build out all the way over here. Oh, and there's the diver, guys. Okay. Okay, this is good. This one has enchanted particles, too, for fire resistance. Got her. Oh, pumpkins. Oh, my goodness. Nice. That's a new crop. I have not seen any pumpkins up until now. Woo. Pumpkins. Ow. Is that a cursed chest? Ow. The loot just surprises me every time. Look at all this stuff. I'm mainly trying to get anything that's important. Potion of weakness. We need that. That's important. Sugar. That's important. And can I do something with the carved pumpkin? Or does it need to be normal pumpkin? Oh, no. With their skeleton skull, even. Uh, health boost. I'll use this just because we're going to probably fight an evoker soon. Coming out of there, we have six fermented spider eyes, six sugar, a potion of weakness, uh, some really good books. And that's mostly it for the rare stuff. We have wither skeleton skull and the pumpkins as well, but those aren't going to be easy to use at all. Ah, here we go. Here is the evoker ship. Um, we have to strategize an approach for this. I think we take out everything we can without involving the evoker first, like this guy, which is good for us. Take that guy out. Oh no, not now. Not now. Oh my goodness. Why are there so many of you? You're crazy, fellas. And you have a million health, don't you? Okay, we're gonna figure this out. I'm thinking we can branch far out again. Let's make our way over to here. Also, let's sleep. Oh, hello, creeper. And hello, dangerous ship. Nobody here, probably on the other side of this door though, right? Where you at, fella? I know somebody's hiding somewhere. I hear you. you make quite loud grunting noises, my friend. Okay, here he is. There we go, perfect. And you're gone. Nice. Okay, so we have all the loot to ourselves. Hmm, nothing that I really need here. Okay, so it looks like we have looted this one. We can continue onwards. I don't know what that was at the top of the ship. I guess it might have just been another Vindicator, but it was not an evoke. Let's keep looking for what we want. There's a little ship over here. Oh, and there's a skeleton on here. I thought there might have been a villager or something, but nope. Okay, well, let's take this fella out then. Ow. Undead Fisher. Goodbye. Any loot here? Just some salmon. All right. Wait, hold on. Oh my goodness. Is this the first actual island we've run into? I didn't think there were islands in this. Oh my god. Oh, and there's another ship over there. Oh, and sugar cane. Okay. Well, that opens up a lot of possibilities for us. So that's an awesome find. Now we can farm up sugar cane anytime we want. And I'm going to mark down these coordinates because, I mean, we have literally found the first island. Is it an evoker? I think that is an evoker. Let's try to take this ship on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's evokering it up. But if we can shoot him from here, then we're good to go. I just need to hit my shots. Oh no. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Okay, here we go. Got him. Did he drop a totem on my dying? I don't know if he did. Let's see. Take you out, fella. And you. Okay. Okay, the top of the ship is clear here. Yeah, and the evoker didn't drop any totem on dying. Wow. Got a fella over here, which we can take out like so. Boom. What do we got here? Ooh, diamonds. I'm breaking. Oh, scutes might be useful. More diamonds. A lot of ores here. Yeah, not bad. Is there anything in here? No. More ores? I'm not finding any name tags anywhere, though, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm thinking instead of wasting so much time looking for name tags, maybe the better thing to do would literally just be use a zombie without a name tag. Because, I mean, we have our mob farm, so we can get zombies no problem. And, I mean, it'll be kind of annoying to have to get new zombies every time. But to start out, I think it'll be good enough for us. And I'm back. Okay, now 
we can try to bring a zombie over. Let's just make sure that we have everything safe and set up. Ooh, which we don't really, because we're going to need to bring the zombie here, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need to rebuild this a bit. Boom. Then we can do this. Bam. I hear a drowned. But you know what? Maybe I can just use a drowned zombie. That would be fine. Come here, my friend. <sighs> Although, do I want to risk it with the drowned? Not really. I'd rather just have a normal zombie. Sorry. Now, what I should do before we bring a zombie here is actually test this out and make sure that everything things working. So the villager falls. Ooh, why is the villager falling so low? Whoa. Okay. Oh boy. The sand's going inside the piston, which I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's not good. This is probably because I need sticky pistons. That's why. And on top of that, I probably should not use sand. So let's get some stone bricks and we'll also get slime balls to transform the pistons into sticky pistons. Okay, let's see. So we need to change the sand to stone brick. Ooh, you know what? I could have probably done. Oh no. Oh boy. That was a mistake. Yeah, I probably could have done that in a much better way. I'm so sorry, fella. That's not good. Okay. Let's see if we can push him back. Which might be a bit difficult. Let me let me break. Oh no. Okay, kind of works. Okay, good. Actually, kind of is working out right now. And then trapdoor, boom. I'm pretty sure that's back to normal. And now we just need to replace the piston, which is easy enough. So I think we just take this slime ball. Boom. There we go. Let's test that out and see if it works. Boom. Boom, nice, there we go. So now he goes up and down, perfect. We need to do the rest with everybody else. And let's see what the best way to do that would be. Okay, push you over here. Nope, don't move back on here. There we go, we replaced that. Now we need to push him back, there we go. And place this, boom, we'll just do that with everybody else. Okay, all done. And let's test them accordingly. Works. Oh, and I need to replace the pistons. Right. Okay, there we go. And okay, some of these are not working. Oh, I see. It's probably because there needs to be slabs here. Boom. And they are all working perfectly. Good. So all that's left to do is to bait a zombie over. Hello. Okay, we got a zombie. I'm going to open this up for him. Close it right away. And follow me, my friend up the stairs and right into here. No, you can come inside. There we go. Perfect. So with that done, we should be good to go. Now we just need to pick out the trades that we want. And I do want librarian trades, but I also, and most importantly, really want a good farmer trade because that's what's going to let us get the starter emeralds we need. Let's see here. Potatoes and beetroot. That's actually pretty decent because we have both of those. So we can turn this fella. But before we do that, we should grab a weakness potion and golden apples. Oh, I didn't ever get any nether wart or blaze rods did i okay well in that case off to the nether we go all right should be good to go uh looks like i have found the nether fortress blazes where the blaze is at a terrible fortress oh yeah and we also can get ooh, nether wart here we go bam perfect and gotcha we need a couple more blaze rods if possible got saddles the chests are nice here as well oh and there we go we got a couple more blazes hello folks okay they didn't drop anything and it also looks like there's a whole other fortress over there blazes are kind of spawning here so i don't know if it'll be any better over there we just need a couple more blaze rods and we've got more nether wart here is that a spawner yes it is awesome and we're already up to three blaze rods since we found a spawner might as well get just a couple more 
Okay, we got four blaze rods. That'll be good enough for now. Let us head back home and take a screenshot of these coordinates. Now, let me see. Is our zombie still here? Nope, it's gone. I mean, should have seen that coming, but it's okay because we should be able to easily get another one in. First, let's brew up the potions we need. Boom, brewing stand and whoops. No, 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 not that. So for weakness potions, we might actually not even need to make awkward potions. So we can just uh, use fermented spider eyes right away. So we'll grab one of those and also one gunpowder and we'll brew it up. Bam, three weakness potions and I can make two more golden apples. So I have three total. So that means we can uh, turn three villagers if we want. Let's try to get uh, the trades that we want from our villagers. Let's see. So we have a good farmer trade. Protection four trade. That's really good. So we're going to lock this guy in. Fortune three. That's pretty good too. Looting three. These guys are giving some good trades. Let's lock the guys that we like are in so that we don't lose these trades. Oh, and we did get a zombie. Now, because it's daytime, I don't know how transporting a zombie works exactly but it's possible that we can just equip a helmet on him and that'll protect him from the sun i think and in that case we could transport him right now let's take these guys out we'll let this one zombie out all right follow me oh and here take this helmet he's not picking up the helmet all right well that's my bad that's my bad you know what we'll just wait until nighttime. goodness so boom we'll lock this one in and then we need nine emeralds boom i believe this one's now locked in. Let's also try to get to so fortune's pretty good as well. I think we should lock this one in. This one might be a bit harder, but let's see if we have the resources. We don't yet, but if we trade with our farmer some more, we probably will have enough. Also, we definitely need to set up some new farms. That'll help us out a lot. Oh, wait, no, I have 16 paper here. Plus we can make some more using our sugar cane and that should be enough. Bam. So that should lock that in these two we can try to get new ones on efficiency four that's pretty good actually so let's lock that in sharpness four not bad unbreaking two isn't bad i'm looking for unbreaking three though and i think we can be greedy just because we have a decent amount of time with this fella <laughs> he can't really go anywhere anyways while i'm doing this let's bring the zombie over oh and he despawned here we go. Come with me and let's follow me this way. And we will open this up. Come with me. Let's go this way. Perfect. We got him in. With that, we can turn the ones that we want to turn, which includes this guy. And a quick disclaimer. Originally, this map was set to normal mode, so I changed it to hardcore in the configuration. But I didn't realize that I'd also have to change the difficulty setting to hard instead of normal. So while I do actually have only one life and am playing on hard core mode, typical things like mob spawn rates and the chance of villagers getting turned into zombies are still set to normal. And as you'll see, this makes my life a lot harder. Let's see if we get lucky. Let's... Oh, it did it. Nice. So weakness potion, golden apple. Okay, good. Next, we want this protection for villager. Uh oh, no, we lost him. Okay, well, it happens. Try this fella. There we go. Hopefully he will do what we need him to. Did our villager survive? Nope. Dang it. Let's try our efficiency villager. Okay, he's going for another one. Come on, come on, come on. No, oh, we got one for four. Not the worst odds ever, but not amazing either. Okay, well with that, I'm pretty happy. Well, there we go, zombie doctor. Bam. Costs one emerald and one book for fortune three. That's obviously not exactly the one we wanted, but still it is very, very cheap. Now with that, I'm thinking we can kind of move on from the villager trading hall a bit because we've been so focused in on this for so long. I feel like I want to do some other things. I mean, it's not going anywhere, which is the good thing. I can quickly buy the fortune three book. Uh, maybe I'll buy it a few times just uh, in case I need it on multiple tools. Damn, I have five books. 
And I actually don't know how long the discount lasts for. Is it permanent? I don't know, but uh, I mean, it's all a learning process for me. Anyways, let us buy everything we want here. Oops, I did not mean to buy five, but you know what? I did it. I did it. So I no regrets, no regrets. Five books it is. So we'll leave that alone for now. I'm happy with the fact that we've got it to the point where it can actually work and definitely work to be done, but uh, we will finish that up. Now, the next thing that I really want to do and something I've been wanting to do for a while now is adding to our farms. We have sugarcane and we have beetroot. Beetroot, I think I would actually need the seeds. So here we go. We have beetroot seeds and we do have this area that we built for animals, but we've had absolutely zero luck with finding any so far. It's still possible we will find some in the future, but since we haven't found any yet, I figure it would be a good idea to turn this into another farming section anyways. We also have nether wart that I probably want to plant down as well. So that leaves us with three resources. You know what? I figure a good thing to do will be to start off all of our farms here. And then if I want to expand the sugarcane farm, I can just do it later around that tree island. So to expand our farm, we're going to need to restructure this and make it identical to this right here. Now, the one thing is that this is currently uneven, so we need to kind of fix it up a bit. Mainly, we have to move this two blocks over. This, I believe, is 16 blocks wide, and then this one is 14 blocks wide. Yeah, so we need to extend it out two more. We'll get that done really quickly, and we'll just uh, restructure this whole side. Okay, so I've mostly finished with extending and balancing out the farms. This is now two blocks longer, and I also removed a lot of the unnecessary blocks in between the different farms, and now there's only one line separating them, which just uh, lets us farm a lot more, which is nice. So I just have to refarm and then replace all of these so that they fully cover everything. Boom. And I guess this part of the melon farm isn't necessary, but I will still keep it. And over here, I just need two more soul sand. And then we just need to do the sugar cane and beetroot parts. Beetroot is simple. Boom. We need our nether wart placed. And well, now that I think about it, so sugar cane, whoa, how am I placing it like that? Oh, because there's slabs. I see. So we'll change up this design a little bit. We'll just add slabs like so. Boom. And let me see. I still can't place it everywhere. I'll just have to water bucket from underneath. Do this, I believe. There we go. I think I mostly did it. And then I just need two more soul sand here. Okay, let's quickly head on in. Chains of golden apple handy. I have had to move through a lot of nether already without finding any soul sand. There we are. Beloved soul sand. Gimme, gimme. Very nice. Also, if I can get some glowstone while I'm here, that would be great because I am running out. In fact, I have two pieces. There we go. This is sketchy, but there's two veins of glowstone in this direction, which I really want to get. Here we go. Okay, I'm up to more than four stacks of glowstone dust, so I think it's a good time to head back for home. Oh! That is not what we like to see when we are right next to lava. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why are you here? You know what? I'm just going to take you out. Okay. A lot of you fellas. Okay. Alrighty. Goodbye. Here's some meat. Let's get that for uh, Buddy. Whew. 
Okay, feels good to be back. <laughs> that was uh, quite a long trip given that we just came there for Soul Sand, but there we go. And in fact, boom, we can already fill it up fully. Awesome. Do wolves eat raw food? Here you go, buddy. Oh, they do. There we go. That's nice. We gotta feed our cat too. Blue. Here you go. All right. So with that, our farms are fully set up and I mean, they're gonna have to grow a bit, but other than that, we are looking good. Ooh. And it looks like we got another cat. <laughs> which is nice. Now, I'd also really like to make a kind of docking area where we can leave and uh, enter on our boat. I mean, we can obviously come in from anywhere, which is fine, but if we could have a nice little designated area for it, that would be cool as well. And I'm thinking maybe we can do it to the side of our house right here here. Let's see how we want to do this. I'm thinking we'll have a few sections as though there's like multiple boats coming into here. Kind of extend it out like this. And let's see if adding a stone brick outline would be of any use. Okay, not bad, but I'm thinking it might just be better if we have a centerpiece like that and then two by two openings on each side. That's better, I think. That's kind of nice. It doesn't take uh, too much space up or anything. It's not too much work either. And let's see if it uh, works like we want it to. We would just have boats sitting here already. Boom, get out. We want to come back. We just do a little loop-de-loop -loop and bam. Awesome, I kind of like it. Let's see, boom. It kind of gives it a little bit of a like an archway. Maybe we could even do, maybe do something like that. Boom. And yeah, I think that'll do as a little archway opening. And then we can probably close it off as well, like so. Boom. Yeah, kind of cool little opening and place to dock and leave our boats. We also never finished up lighting up this area, which we should definitely do. There we go. I mostly lit up the bottom. And then on the top, we'll just also place some glowstone. Boom. So this is pretty well lit up, good, good. And by the way, does this one still have the discount? Yes, they do. Also, I have not checked up on our breeder in a while. I don't know if there's a cap on how many villagers can be here at once. It probably is, right? Yeah, I don't think that there seems to only be one. So, I mean, that's it's probably for the better. Now, the question is, do we wanna continue with our trading hall investment here? Because in that case, we're gonna have to transfer this railroad to here again. Also, are our farmers still good in here? Uh-oh. Wait, they're good, right? Yeah. Oh, why is there only one? What happened here? Maybe I just... Oh, I forgot to put the second farmer in here. That's what happened. Okay, gotta get this guy... Wait, no. I, okay. Yeah, we got to get this guy out and put him into the farm. So let's do that. I need to get uh, railway supplies and then we'll also bring them over to there. I do wonder if it's worth creating like an underground, more, more like underwater railway that we can use to transport the villagers from here to there and also from here to there because we are building our little mini village. I think that might be a pretty useful thing to do and pretty cool as well. And that also gives us easy access to move them anywhere else we want in the future. So let us do that. That's going to be a lot of work. All right. So let's get this done. Okay. Let's see. So we already have these villagers kind of underground, but okay. Let's see. So we would probably want, well, well, first of all, I completely forgot. Didn't we need to move a villager in here? We did. Um, that's my bad. Let us do that before anything else. Get on. There we go. Bring them up and bring you in here. Here you are. There we go. All done. And now they can get to work doing what they do best. Now, as for the railway. Yeah. So I think we want to run this underground starting from here and then we'll go downwards and then it can probably just go literally right under this and then we can bring it here and go upwards and then have a trap door or something that'll create the opening let us get to work figuring this out 
So, oh, we got a cat that spawned here. Alrighty, well, you're not supposed to run in here. No, <laughs> no, you're not supposed to go in here. For... Oh, are you stuck? Oh my goodness, should we tame this cat? Maybe we should, huh? Oh my goodness, it's going crazy. Hold on, let's grab some fish. <laughs> I'm trying not to tame too many cats because I don't want to make them all sit. I'd rather have them run around, but uh, yeah, build a teleport to me. But, uh, you know, I don't want them to be stuck anywhere either, so it's all right. Grab all the fish I've got and... Uh, Come here. What are we gonna? Oh my goodness. You guys are so cute. All right. You have a seat. You guard this house. All right. Blue and yellow. How about that? Your name's yellow. Your name's blue. Okay. That's what we're doing right now. Yes, we're calling you colors, but they're cute. So it's gonna work. Hello. Where'd you go? Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, there we go. Come here. And there we go. <laughs> okay. Looks like our villager friends are going to work. That's good. They're having the time of their lives. Oh, they'd made a baby. All right. Good, good. We'll call you Jumpy because you were jumping all over the place. <laughs> These names are not that creative. I know. Okay, guys. Gotta cut me some slack. Just trying to make sure I can remember all of them. All right. Jumpy, blue, and yellow. All right. Cool. Here we go. You guys are a squad. You guys have fun. Anyways, the railroad. That's what we're trying to work on. So I'd say, first of all, we're going to make a railway to the villager breeder. And in that case, we are going to do this. We're going to run this underground right here. And we luckily have a good amount of space that we can use. We should probably just run it through here. Doo -doo -doo, and then we'd open it out here. We're going to block that so that no water comes coming in. <laughs> comes coming in. Okay. Anyways, and then we're going to come through here. And you know what? I probably it rather be centered than like this but we'll fix that in a moment and let's see do we want to use stone brick to make like a statement that it's a railway or just blend it in? That's a good question. I think just keeping it spruce would be the coolest, just blending it in and uh, keeping it simple. So we have to get a bunch of spruce. And I do actually wonder if uh, we have any progress towards getting a level 30 enchanting table so I can get a better ax. That'll help speed up the chopping wood process by a lot. No, I mean, we don't really have any hope for a lot of bookshelves right now. So eh, it is what it is. I will make a diamond ax and I'm seeing how many books I have. Whoa, 31. Oh, hold on. I actually have very close to enough for a level 30. I already have two here which is equivalent to six more books. So I have 37. So that would mean that I need eight more books. Ooh, which is so close. Okay, I've gotten some wood. I'm gonna grab some leaves so we have a block to remove water with. And now we should be all good to go. So we'll just take this railway down like so. Take it through here. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, having the leaves above this kind of gives me an idea. I could actually use glass or just leaves themselves because that would give us transparency through this whole thing, which would actually be pretty cool. Uh, my question is, can you place rails on leaves? No, you can't. Okay, so then our best option might be glass. Maybe grass on the top, glass on the bottom or something. With that though, I'm gonna need a bunch of glass. And I actually have a good amount already, so we should be good to go on that front. We will get some additional oak leaves. And with all that, we can head over to start building this thing. So then we'll just have this come out. I guess we actually want to run this one block lower than we were because I kind of want to keep it blended in. I don't want it sticking up above ground. So we'll just do it like this all the way to make a staircase here, which we can actually open up already. And then boom. So it kind of end up over here. And then from here, we can bring the villagers where we want. Okay, so now it's time to actually build this thing. We will keep the sides. I'm gonna break through here. Hello, dolphin. Don't go in there, you're gonna die. Do we still want to do the leaves for the top? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, wait, that's not what I was going for. Maybe not, because I don't want this to be sticking out. In that case, it might be better to use slabs. I wonder if those can blend in. Oh, they can, okay. So then we should just use slabs, I think. That works just fine. So I need more oak then. Oh, and look at this. Our sugar cane's really coming along nicely. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Okay, now let's build the rest of this. Okay, well, we're out of the water by now, so let us work on getting all that water out. 
Whoa, look how high our trees are growing. Oh my goodness. What are they doing down here? Wait, why are carrots down here? I don't know what's happening. They're like trading carrots. They're breeding in the area where they go after they've bred. I'm so confused. How did this happen? We got like babies on babies now. I think we have like four villagers in here. Okay, anyways, this fortunately seems to be pretty easy to remove water from. And I'd like to light it up as well, for which we can probably use glowstone. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is where we're just gonna have to kind of solidify the walls. And I actually don't think that solidifying all of the walls would be a bad idea. I think if we solidify them all, it might just make things a lot simpler. Boom. So this is all separated now. I'll add some glowstone. And if we want, we could even add a door like here. Here, let's say that gives us a cool kind of behind the scenes access point which is really really nice I think and then how is the rest of this actually looking it's looking all right you know what something that could really help here is adding a leaf border maybe because otherwise it looks a little bit too just solid let me see it also kind of hides the bottom of this, which is nice. And I just need a couple more leaves to really finish this off. But how is that looking? Hmm, I think it still needs some more work. Maybe it would be better if we use stairs, for example, and then we can use them on the bottom and the top. I'm thinking that might be nicer because it'll give the base here some shape. Okay, let's see here. How do we want to place these? There's that option and there is this option. I'm thinking placing them like this might be a bit better because I think then on the top we can place them the opposite way and it'll look cool. I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean in a moment. Okay, there we go. And now we'd want to do the top layer. Bam. And you know what? We probably want to finish this up like so. Bam. And then we're just going to place logs right here. Bam. There we go. That's looking better. We'll also finish extending the stairs to over here. Just like so. Boom. Boom. Glowstone on each corner. And now we got to figure this out. So villagers will come up. Then they will be offloaded right here. Oh, and I just realized we need powered rails, but I don't know if we're going to have the space to do that. Let's try those. So... And then if we want to power this, oh, okay, good. We can power it from above. Perfect. That makes our lives a lot easier. Bam. Okay. So ooh, this isn't connecting as we wanted to though. Okay. That's fine. We just do this. Boom. Okay. So we have this all figured out. I'm thinking maybe what we can do is just add slabs around this and that'll kind of cover it without adding too much here. And then we can do this. Bam. So this gives us a way to transport our villagers here. I guess it is time to test it after all. So let us do it. So we send the villager off. Please tell me it works like we want. Yes, it does. Beautiful. So then we get the villager here, which means means if we, we would break all of the ones, oops, that was a mistake, but fortunately the villager keeps its trade, but we break all the ones that we don't want the villager to go to, and then we can break the minecart. There we go. He became a farmer. Now that was mainly for the purpose of baiting him here, because now we're just going to push him in and I don't have enough space. Boom. There we go. And we got him. Oh my goodness, perfect. Just like that, all done. And that way we're also keeping the villagers safe from the zombie because we can't actually bring them in from here. And we'll work on getting this guy the trades that we need later. But for now, I'd also like to set up the other railway that we want. And that is the railway going here to our village. Now this village has a lot of room to expand in the future as well, which is why I'd love to have a easy way to transport villagers over. Because for example, this 
can expand around my base to that way. Um, we could even make a little underpass and then have it expand over to here. So we have a lot of room for expansion. Ooh, and speaking of expansion, our sugarcane is growing really nicely. Wow. And sugarcane's great because it'll give us the paper trade for emeralds, which any source of a lot of emerald trading is great for us. <laughs> is there much use for beetroot? No, not really, but maybe we can trade it. That's that's mostly where the use will come in. And red dye, I guess, too. Anyways, we need to set up this other railway. And we could do it in the same exact way as the other one, where we just keep it really low-key and underground and stuff. But maybe we could give it a little bit more of a theme. Since this is a village already, having like a little train station could be cool. In fact, having a train station here would be cool, too. So <laughs> I'm going to even try to design this a bit. Because uh, the thing about this is we can create a train station all across our base and as it expands more we would just add more avenues let's see how would we want to do this let's see we could have oak logs here oops like that and then oak log here as well and then we'd kind of fill it up with glass maybe go how would that look not bad. I think maybe we can cover it with stone brick slabs. Let's see. So maybe we can just add a nice little cover like this. Bam. And you know what? I want some lamps to finish this off. There we go. Lanterns rather, not lamps. Actually, we can maybe bring that. Boom. And then you know what we can do is we can name it Trader Express. Boom. And we can add some slabs here. Maybe we'll do it with those there we go bam we have a nice little uh train outpost now we'll work on adding this to our village we do kind of have a chunk of space here which is probably going to be the easiest area to make this work lucky for us this is actually really close to the breeder so there shouldn't be too many complications with this though we are going to need to finish it before we actually open this up otherwise the water will flood everything so we have to be really careful so let's see here we'd go from right here we could carry this through also use glass Boom. And let's see, what's the spot we would actually want this to be opened at? Probably here, for example. So we'll bring this over accordingly. Ooh, and I kind of uh, calculated it a bit differently than I would have liked. It's okay, we're gonna fix this. So we'll have this come up one. Okay, so we can kind of get it to open up right there, which is okay. Probably be better if it went in this direction, if I'm honest. So we'd have it go up like that. Okay, so we'll just, ooh, no, no, no. Okay, slab the top like before. Okay, that is done. Now I just gotta clear the water. Perfect. So now we have a clear path and we should be able to open this up now. So boom and uh oh, okay, let's see here. <gasps> oh, that could have been bad. Goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. So what we can do is we have another path. So we'll just bring the railing down. Now, I don't know if there's actually something I can use. Ah, okay, so I think if we put a lever here, we might be able to create a lever switch thing. So hold on. So let's see if I put a lever here. Oh, look at that. We can switch the direction it goes in. Now, unfortunately, it seems to have completely switched the direction. Let's see if I can... Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? We would want the switcher to be... Oh, how did you get here, my friend? Are you... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. These guys are crazy. Okay, let's see. What if we would bring the railing through here? Okay, there we go. We have extra space now. And what we could do is have railing going like this and then it's also there we would have a lever here maybe no okay i'm not really able to figure it out so i guess we'll just manually switch it whenever we need to that's fine i'm gonna make this go back to normal 
Boom. Okay, so theoretically, yes. Okay, I did not mean to do that yet. It's my bad. Let's bring you back over, but this is working. We're gonna continue extending this. All right, and you're gonna keep coming here, aren't you? We're just gonna stop you right there. Why are you coming here? No, stop coming here, guys. You're not, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna need to fix that. Okay, get out of here, get out of here. Yes, get out. Okay, okay, so it looks like it's gonna be hard to make the track go to the right here, so we might just have to make it open up from here. Oh, there we go. And then we'll put a powered rail. There we go. So this works. And then, bam, we've transported a villager. They'll find uh, themselves a home here. And we just need to design this opening again, which we will do in the same way. So I think we should just leave it like this. And then we can name it the Village Express. We can also add the lanterns like we did, and bam. Now, I do want to transport more villagers to our trading hall. So we can get to doing that. Now, the thing about librarians too is that their max level trade can have name tags. So that would be great because that would let us have an infinite zombie here as well. I would like to get that set up. Let's see. So lectern and there we go. Bam. We are going to push you in there. Go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, got him. Oh, and he got mending trade. That's awesome. So let's get paper because we do not want him to switch out of that trade. Now the villager surviving the zombie is a whole different topic, but um, hopefully we can make that happen. And this is you. Yes, it is. Boom and locked in. Now my idea for here is actually just adding a chest and then what we can do is put some rails in there and this will hopefully let us streamline the process of transporting villagers when we want potato and beetroot not a bad trade here i don't know if getting carrot and potato is possible so let's just lock that in as well here you are, boom, and we're gonna lock that in, perfect. And for our sugar cane, let us expand it all around our tree farm, like I said way back. There we go, and we can already begin planting, perfect. And I mean, by this point, we're doing really well with everything, I'd say, I'm really happy. Let's get some more villagers transported over to the trading hall. Bam. Oh, it works so well. Okay, so we're gonna bring you over here. No, 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 no. Don't go down. No, 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 no. No, I have not had a villager do this before. Very interesting. Okay, let's see where you're trying to go. No, okay, I see where you're trying to go. All right, man. You know what, buddy? You have fun. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I am actually gonna bring a zombie over. That's what you're gonna do. Okay and cover that and let's go yes good good you're hitting me real good okay good come here perfect good so we are all done there let's do this one you can do this one too let's go zombie's not walking zombie come here yes there we go get the mending guy please 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 zombie villager please 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 no okay it's fine let's go come here Yes, good. Weakness, golden apple. And I'm going to sleep off the night because unfortunately villagers don't really like to change their trades during the nighttime. And none of these fellas are really collaborating with us, it seems. So you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna bring some new ones over. Let's do it. And wow, the villagers are really mass producing here. That's great to see, folks. Okay, and we're gonna put you. Why do you guys not wanna go to the right spot? Why? No, stop. What happened? Oh no, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what happens if I break these fences. Okay, watch, I'm gonna let you in here. Okay, are you having the time of your life yet? Yeah. Oh, now you wanna go back here, don't you? And you are just spinning in circles. Great. You know what, actually, this works out fine because I'm just gonna push you back in here. And we're gonna do this to you. There we go. Yeah, perfect. And on top of that, this time I'm gonna be smart and just use our rails to get you where we want. Hold on, before that though, where this other village you go? Here you are, okay. Here's what we're gonna do with you, pal. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you up on this block. Yep, all right, good. Looks like he's going, oh yeah, right where we need him. 
Good, good, good. Now that that happened, we're gonna push you in. Good. And he's got lure three. You know what? I figure we, maybe we should get a really good fishing rod just to do ourselves justice here. We are on a raft after all, and having a decked out fishing rod would be a great way to end off the 100 days. So you know what? That's my new goal. But before that, we gotta finish dealing with these guys. So, oh no, nope, that was not the plan. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it was going so well. Why'd you have to go? Why, why, why? Oh, you got good trades too. He got really good trades. Okay. I don't even know how he got this. Okay. It's fine though. Oh, okay. We're going to put him in the minecart because that seems to be the best way to do this. No. How'd you go outside? Okay. You know what? You're not a farmer, man. You're a wannabe. All right. You're not a farmer. All right. That's just, that's just the facts. Sorry to break your dreams. Okay. We did it. Okay. Good. Okay. Here we have the lore three trade. So let's try to discount this guy. No. All right, well, it is what it is. Okay, well, no one's really switching their trades right now. So first of all, let's keep expanding our sugarcane farm. Okay, now if we can get bookshelf trade for cheap, that would be amazing. So let's try to do that. Sounds like the zombie might've despawned, unfortunately. That's okay, we shall bring a new one over. Ooh, we got a zombie villager spawn. I don't know if he works uh, the same way as other zombies do, but there's also a zombie or something with diamond boots over there. That kind of looks nice, I didn't like those. Let's just bring this guy in here like we usually do. Great. So that should work like we want it to. And this villager has a nice trade so let's bring him down oh he's not really doing anything maybe too tall or something okay i guess we have to bring another zombie then all right here we go and in we go let's go okay with that we can lower this guy down there we go oh okay i'll lock this guy in and hopefully once we get him turned into a zombie he will lose his aggression towards me and discount all his prices hello zombie this way Oh, uh, what's going on? Okay, I guess let's try to level this fortune guy up a bit. Boom. Curse of Binding. No. Not Curse of Binding. Oh, what? but one book for one emerald is pretty good. Only thing is, I kind of wanted to make a level 30 enchanting table. I don't know. It is what it is. I gotta, gotta do what we gotta do right now. Mending. Oh, well, I mean, hey, that is good with me. Thank you very much. I can't complain, really. Let's level him up even more. Experts. Oh, he didn't get the name tag, unfortunately. But we can get a bunch of mending books from him. Okay, well, things aren't exactly going our way with the villagers, so I figure let's go and adventure for a little bit. We can head out using our little dock here, and let's see what we can find. Here we go. Here's a little ship. And it looks like it's a villager one, is it? Yeah, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Alrighty, very funny. We take out the illusionist. Yep, and the witch. I hate all of you guys. I just hope you know that. Now, the bright side is there might be some decent loot here, which I would not mind. Levitation potion. Saturation. Hold on. When applied, full hunger bar. Is that forever? I guess it's just for one use. I see. Magma cream. Doo, doo, doo. Fairly simple stuff still. Goodbye. And this is my second wither skull. Technically, I could try to fight the wither, although I'm doubting that would go well right now. A lot of the same stuff in here. Potion of luck. I don't know exactly how luck works, but we can drink this. And I'm close to being out of food. There I go again with my amazing food management. Okay, anyways, that is it. We got something strange over here, it looks like. Doesn't seem like there's too much actually here, though. No, let's head out. Okay, hello, folks, hello. We are going, okay, and we got drowns, which honestly, I'm not even gonna pay attention to. Oh boy, okay, wait, this is dangerous. I'm not dealing with that. Vindicators are super dangerous. Oh boy, okay, I'm in a bit of trouble, actually. This isn't anything new either, so it's not like I'm missing out on anything, and uh, well, I don't wanna die, so goodbye. I figure let's uh, take a little bit more of a look of what we can find in the ocean, and other than that, I'm just gonna start heading back for home. Oh, and it looks like we've got another island here. Every time we come by these, I'm wondering if any neutral mobs can spawn, like pigs or cows. That would be amazing. I doubt it, though. We've got a shipwreck here and some pretty decent loot here. Why not? Okay, well, the sun is rising and I didn't really find anything new. We are, what, like 
more almost 6,000 blocks away from our base. Um, I think it's a good time to head back because it's going to take a while to get back to our raft. I'm almost out of food and I would still like to try and get some luck with our villagers. Oh, and I found a section here with even more desert while on the way back home. Oh, home sweet home. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we are finally back. Okay, so I would still like to try and make an upgraded fishing rod with a level 30 enchanting table and if possible get a name tag so first we're gonna need to bring some more villagers here boom that's everybody brought over here we'll also bring some villagers to our village so bam and then we do the exact same thing yeah there we go oh i didn't mean to bring the baby but i mean i guess it is what it is all right you make yourself at home over here great now we need to bring a zombie here and we need to get an another upgraded librarian trade here we go we got a bookshelf and paper trade so let us get this fella turned and upgrade this farmer oh pumpkin for emerald that's a very good trade, but I don't think we have any pumpkin seeds, do we? Come on, come on, give me some luck. I really want this level 30 enchanting table. Please, please. No. Okay, here we go again. We will lock this in and villager, do your thing. Oh, there we go. He's going for it. Yes. So this will mean that we'll have an easier way to get bookshelves, which will let us get that level 30 enchanting table finally. And then we can also trade with this one a bunch to hopefully get the name tag trade, which would be even better. Now, while that's happening, I would still like to get another farmer so that we can sell all of our crops. There we go, carrot and wheat trade. That's perfect. So let's lock that in and then we will let this fella go down. Zombie, come here. Do I have the special villager for you? There we go, you guys have fun. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. That's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. Carrots. Carrots is good. We can get wheat as well. That would be better. Carrots and wheat. Perfect. What a lucky day for you. Put you down. And zombie, come here. Come on, come on. Please. No. Why is my success rate so low? Okay, well, I'm hoping I can safely leave while this guy's getting turned because I want to bring new villagers over. Oh, yeah, we already got some more villagers. Oh, yeah, let's go. There we go. Yes, good. And we're going to push you. Nope, you don't like the zombie, do you? Nothing to be afraid of. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness, this guy. Oh, yes, this transformation is complete. Only three emeralds for one bookshelf. We can have our level 30 enchantment table in no time. There we go. Okay, so let's trade with this fella. And he's upgraded. We can turn one book for one emerald. Okay. Well, we can basically infinitely trade with this book and bookshelf thing, which is good because we should be able to just trade in emeralds and then we'll trade them back in for bookshelves. Power one. That's not what we're looking for over here. All right. I don't appreciate that. And then we can buy some lanterns. There we go. Get you upgraded. Uh-huh. Experts. So... That's not looking too good. Now, can you go above expert? Oh, we can get them to master, I'm realizing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that changes things a bit. Boom, more paper. Ooh, that does not give us much. Well, it is what it is. Boom, boom, four. There we go. That was a good trade. Boom. Okay, we got him to master, it looks like. Let's see. Master. Oh, he has the name tag. Yes. Woo. Okay, progress. Oh my goodness. Finally, we have actually made some type of progress. Feels good. This villager's like depressed or something because he's just not willing to get a profession. And... Uh... <laughs> Just like looking out at the sun. Like, I don't know what's going on with this fella. We we are trying to do something really important with our community right now. All right there, buddy. What are you doing? Like, he's just looking, staring down at villagers. Like, okay, here's the deal. We have a lot of problems right now because I don't have an anvil and I don't have enough iron to make one. Once our farms grow, we will hopefully have enough emeralds to get the bookshelves required for a level 30 enchanting table. And then we just need the anvil to get any additional enchantments on our gear. But... This fella, I really need him to become a carrot farmer because that's going to increase the amount of emeralds we get by a lot. And he's not doing anything. We do have one more villager who's a baby. Maybe they've grown. Let's see. If they haven't, we're going to head down and mine. Okay, wait, they have grown. Okay, let's go. And then we're just going to work through the whole night. Okay. Okay, we want to move you inside there. Okay, good. We need you to be a farmer. So here we go. Pick that up. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. This one's actually doing work. 
This one's still depressed. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Oh, carrots. Yes. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have wheat, but we don't have much time. So let's just lock that in. Set you down. Come on. Please give me some luck right now. I just... If I could ask for one time to give me luck, please give it to me now. Please. Yes. 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 Okay. There we go. You're a villager. I think I can leave while this is happening. So we're going to go and we're going to mine for iron and also for some diamonds if we can, because that is going to let us make just a few more diamond tools or armor that would be nice to have. Not bad at all. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a diamond pickaxe because it's going to help us mine a lot quicker. And I would love to be able to do that. Okay. And we're going to swim out a little bit just because I want to make sure we are mining in a new-ish area. Okay. I'd say I'm far enough. I'm going to dive down and we're mining until Y level 11. <laughs> Oh, and this is a mine shaft, which honestly kind of lost faith in these ever since that other one I found because yeah, they seem to not generate very well at all. Oh, but there is a mine shaft chest. No way. Oh my God. I just spent so long on a villager trading. Oh, things have just went downhill. Are you kidding me? I found a name tag. I am so upset right now. You guys have no clue. The only thing left to do is to just get the iron for an anvil and enough emeralds for the bookshelves, but that's it. Now, the good news is that we can name tag our pets, so at least we have some use for the renewable name tags. That's kind of nice. We can even name our villagers. <laughs> Oh, and my helmet did in fact break, but I got over a stack of iron and I think that'll be enough for now. I also got uh, 13 diamonds, I guess. That's pretty good. So let's head on home. Here we are, surface, and there is our raft. Okay, let's smelt all of this up. Okay, boom, anvil, and uh, we're gonna name them. Um, really good name, nothing aggressive at all. You know, typical, typical zombie name, really. Um, there we go. Looks like uh, this guy has done what we needed him to do. Perfect. And now we just need to get our bookshelves. So let's do that. You know what? We also got a bunch of hay bales for the wheat trade, I'm realizing now. So that's a really good trade to have on the villager. But fortunately, we did not get it on this one. Trade with you, and we'll trade with you then bookshelves boom okay we can only get two. Oh, this one doesn't have the bookshelf trade does he <gasps> okay um that's not that good okay so we only got two bookshelves from that did i have any more okay nine eleven so plus we have two we need three more well i'll tell you what i will if we make a grindstone boom grindstone and we can use that on all of the additional fortune books we got which is uh, a lot Boom. And I just need three more books. Let's see. Boom. Second book. I need literally one more book. You know what? I'm willing to give up one mining book. No problem at all. All right. Boom. There we go. And then we will make three more bookshelves. Perfect. With that, place these. And I believe that should give us a level 30 trade. Yes, it does. Can I enchant the fishing rod? It does a weird thing where I cannot move it, but maybe we can enchant a new one and then combine them. Can't believe my first level 30 enchantment is going to be on a fishing rod, but I think it's only fair. Unbreaking lure two. Not that good. Let's make another one. This is the number one priority right now. Lure three. Unbreaking three. I want luck of the sea. Let's go. Give me some luck. Give me some luck. Unbreaking three. Luck of the sea two. Can there be luck of the sea three? Yes, there can. Okay. You know what though? That's okay. Now let's see. Can I combine? <gasps> no, I can't. I cannot, but I can combine these. I can't put it on our original fishing rod, but I can put it on a new one. And that is good enough for me. Now, if we could also get some additional name tags for our pets, that would be awesome. How expensive was it again? Let's see. What is this? This villager is weird. Pretty costly, pretty costly. Well, I've gotten one, and this is good for our original pet buddy. There we go, buddy. We finally got you a name tag. Oh my goodness. You can walk around with us for a bit. Okay, we're gonna let Buddy take a seat here. This villager is still really weird. Like, they're so suspect. You know what, Buddy? If you're not gonna 
be be a useful member in any way sorry to break it to you but uh i'm not gonna accept it you know i'm just not gonna accept that so goodbye by the way i did not check uh on these oh here luck of the sea so we do have a luck of the sea three trade sticks for emeralds here you go i can do that trade no problem. Unfortunately, no villagers have grown for us to actually transport. You know what? I think a good thing to do to finish off the 100 days, we'll fish from up here. Buddy, buddy, where's buddy? Come on, buddy. Okay, it's fine. Buddy's gonna sit down there, but oh, here is buddy. Anyways, no better way to end off the 100 days than fishing in peace on our beautiful, beautiful raft. Look at this thing. I am really happy with what we were able to make within the 100 days. I think we did so much with what we were given, and uh, along the way, we had so, some luck and some some unlucky things happen. But you know what? Uh, through it all, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy.